My bad, bro. For what? I had you just sitting there looking crazy. Your boy was literally rolling up, drinking a cup of coffee. You know what I'm saying? Get my bro, I had to go make a cup of coffee, bro. I was, um, <sighs> I was in that sleep. Oh, man. Fuck niggas, I'm back, bro. So we missed you last episode. I think no, that's y'all crazy. Some hoes. Y'all some hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's wait for uh, oh, let's, some wait. Hoes. let's wait for Lilo to talk about the last episode, but we can no. talk about anything else. <laughs> Nigga said no. Nigga no. got ran off his own show, man. That's crazy. Wait, that's crazy, crazy. bro. How you going? How you the, the, the show is supposed to be canceled. <laughs> that's how the network do you. <laughs> Man, bro, talking about the show must go on, and they put it on my channel. Like, nah, nigga. It's okay. We need that. Yeah, we need no. that. <laughs> we, we need that. I'm sorry. Nah, nigga. That's where the people know show. where it's at, man. That's where the people know where it's at. <laughs> yeah, it's so cold, bloody, bro. But I guess I guess we gotta wait. Since I gotta wait, I'll wait. I ain't in no rush to get on you niggas' head. I was about to say you could talk about anything else, man. Anything <laughs> you can talk about anything else, man. Whatever. Give her a couple minutes, a couple more minutes. I said I emailed the link to Unk too, man. The contrarian back too, bro. Since oh, y'all wanted, it might be a since, legendary episode. Since since you all kick me. Doing, get the whole gang in this bitch. <laughs> since y'all want to kick me off and do me dirty. He said, "I'm coming back, but we're friends." Yeah, I, I'm coming back with reinforcement. <laughs> We pulling up deep this guy this time. It ain't just me. Oh my god! So what for would you for... like? So now we're because this will be let's see, this will be episode eight, man. We almost ten episodes in. What would you? How would you describe the podcast? Like, what do we? This ain't it, cause uh, cause when I be doing the edits and stuff like that, sometimes shoppy around and like the different like beats and stuff that I get from Perk Angle Beats. Shout out to him. Um, Shout out to Perk Angle shout out to Perk, um but she's like it doesn't really fit the hip-hop podcast vibe i was like that's the thing it's not just a hip-hop podcast i don't know what the fuck we be talking about sometimes like it just it just all culminates it's just the podcast you know what i'm saying exactly it's just and that's that's the thing we don't want to be known as the podcast that does this like right now i say what we are is unorganized <laughs> we're getting there though consistency bro Consistently, hey, but we consistently genuine, not giving up. <laughs> it's genuine and it's real. Like we can't, you can't say it ain't authentic. <laughs> nah, that's facts. That's facts. We show y'all everything: the behind the scenes, the in front of the scenes, the before the scenes, the after the scenes. Y'all seeing every scene. We got we hide, you, man. We be smoking on camera and everything. Like we trying to go. No, we don't. <laughs> we don't. Oh my bad. As I'm looking for a lighter, hold on. <laughs> oh man. And then um the motherfucking what what did I miss? What was going on last time I was here? Uh I don't think nothing was going on, man. I think we're all hold on, let me put my dog out. Uh, the last time, well, I don't think we got to do a recap of the show. Oh, wait, no, we did. No, we did. That was episode six. Come here. Come here. No, we didn't. Unless y'all recapped it without me. See, uh, and that's... I, I think we might have. We might have talked about it. But we, talked about it. we really talked about it from the angle of, like, how Saul felt, but we also got Lilo's angle, you know what I'm saying, about, because she was at KMF, and she went to a few of our shows in Lexington. You feel me? <laughs> so she kind of got to see where we was at. And then we trying to explain to her where we are now, where she will be there. Speak of the devil. She will be there at March 26th, March Madness. Oh, she coming? Oh, nah. <sighs> <sighs> okay. Gang member. Gang member. They're speaking about you. OG. Hello. Nah, bro, we got beef. We ain't even cool. Why? <laughs> nah, we got, you don't even realize you didn't step into some smoke. What did I do? You didn't even fault. realize you didn't just, 
walked into some fire, bro. Oh my God. I, I guess I should really be saying thank you. But I'm the type of nigga that. You watched the episode, hate. nigga. I haven't fully watched it yet, but then I want to thank shut you. Shut up, nigga. <laughs> shut <laughs> your ass up, boy. I'm a week behind. But nah, for real, for real, thank you for covering for us last week, coming in super clutch. No with problem. the clutch news. Of course. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> see, I can't. But see, the thing is, though, you know, for coming in and taking over shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And damn, that just made sense, though. I'm just kind of thinking about it. Come in real smooth on some humble shit. Yeah, and not then everybody take it a over. fan. Not everybody, you know what I'm saying? Everybody, okay, okay. Yeah, <laughs> and and so then we all sitting here with the egg on our face, out of a job, right? Hungry, <laughs> niggas cold. asking us for her contact. Yo, she was yeah. kind of cold. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, what what about SoundCloud, bro? What? Oh, Damn. I ain't gonna lie. Like, that Lilo chick, she 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 smashed that, bro. Y'all niggas. niggas should just shut up. I wasn't even there. For real. <laughs> y'all need about, like y'all need about 10 there. more of her. Y'all got something. Nigga, what? <laughs> what? The fuck? Oh, dead. No disrespect. It's just like, I'm nigga, sorry. it's already hard enough. You feel me? Yeah, I didn't we mean, got lucky. I didn't mean to take anything from anyone. No, oh, okay. It's all good. Said the thief. You came and did your job. That's what I'm saying. I'm trying to <laughs> trying to pull my weight, guys. I'm trying to bring quality. Whatever, <laughs> man. Quality people to the quality platform. How you doing today, Layla? I'm great. How about yourself? I'm Gucci. I'm pretty Gucci. Pretty Gucci. I heard you coming down to Louisville. I am. I'm 26. Hard <laughs> man is bitches. Yes, sir. I'm excited. Jan on the mic, though. Unless she wants to. Oh, okay. She's just blessing us with her presence. Yeah, for now. We're going to see. We're going to see. Talent scout. <laughs> talent scout. Talent scout. We're going to see. We're going to see. Uh, mm. But, I mean, it was some unofficial shit, but I think I'm going to officially stamp it, though. I think uh, I think, I think she's going to do our uh, a live music Fridays, a new music Fridays, though. Where are you going to come through? Yes, sir. You I'm going to put her on the Instagram and have her on the live, because you know me, bro. I'll be fucking it up. Well, let me ask you this question. What, like, we we knew artists. What is like what grabs the attention? Like what do you need as a new artist for like a good song? Like what what makes people be like, oh okay, I'm gonna listen to all of this, or maybe I'll finish the song. Honestly, I think a sound that nobody has really heard before. Like every, right now, everybody sounds like either Lil Baby, Future, or Young Thug. You know, <laughs> and if I or they do a drill, if you can come different than that and it still sound good, I'm definitely going to listen to the whole song. Mm. Yeah. Because that, I mean, it's a hundred niggas doing the same stuff. I don't want to, I, I don't need a new person doing the same thing I've been hearing already. I'm going to just listen to the person that's already been doing it. <laughs> yeah, so but definitely like, something new. But in this generation of age, I feel like the duplicates, the replicas are the ones that get the quickest looks. So if I want to yeah. get picked up and I want to get noticed fast, don't you think I need to duplicate and do what everybody else in the industry doing? I mean, I don't think it's bad to have a song that, you know, may, may fit with what's trendy. I don't think it's bad to have a trendy song, but if your whole thing is another nigga, no, <laughs> that's not gonna work. Like, <laughs> you gonna need something else. Like, I get the one song, you know. I don't under. I get it being trendy and all that, but if you gonna be a whole another, you gonna be a future 2.0. Like, no, that's not gonna work. <laughs> yeah, we got future, bro. That's cool. <laughs> right, we already got him. Like, we don't need. We already got a future. One. Mm. I, think that's, I think that's crazy because that's kind of how I started listening to Trey Shino. He had dropped the, it was either Trey Shino 2 or first Trey Shino tape, self, self-titled tape, but it was different. It was like, it was like spacey boom bat almost like, like the beats was different, you know what I'm saying? But he was rapping, mm-hmm. he was rapping his ass. I was like, oh, ain't the niggas from the city? I'm like, oh, he's, he's, he's different. All right. It exactly. literally sounded like something else. And then I literally had listened to his whole catalog since then. Shout out Trey yeah. Shino. That's how it works. Few more shows, a few more shows, man, and I'm signing niggas. Fuck it. 
Fuck it. First yo. time. <clears throat> Let's do it. Yes, yes, yes. Let's, let's, do, let's, let's do it. Nah, you gonna be uh you gonna be old girl from the genius <laughs> the genius documentary uh, <laughs> where Kanye come and start playing niggas. Jesus, Jesus songs. <laughs> just ignore niggas. I don't care what they say. Ain't gonna lie. Oh, this you? If we pass on Kanye West. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the funny thing oh, is, I think I, I think I talked about this before, but I was listening to No Jumper. Adam was like, bro, basically people don't even realize like. It's in a documentary. You see, and like, how could they pass on Jesus Walk? But they they don't they don't realize the scope of how crazy this nigga Kanye is. You think that's the first time they heard Jesus Walk? No, nah, playing yeah, that I'm song since they met him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. That's their first time hearing it. Like they know the lyric, bro. Like they don't give a fuck. You change your third verse. You know what I'm saying? Like they don't give a fuck. Um, bro. So it was like, oh, you, you had know, this Lauren sample. How you gonna get that clean? Right. Exactly. <laughs> that's what they care about. Like, like mm-mm, mm-mm, girl, mm-mm, mm-mm. I'm not gonna worry. Don't worry about it. <laughs> well, do said, don't worry about it. Just that splat. Just that splat. <laughs> <That's> splat. <laughs> don't I don't think I'll be that though. Sweetheart. <laughs> I hope not. I hope not. I'll cry. I'll cry. But at the same time, though, I get it. I get it. Because I, I think we were talking about that too. Like, if we were back in the day, would we have, like, would you have bet on Kanye? Out of all the niggas, like, I'm talking about, you know, Hove, you know this, you know this person, you know what I'm saying? Right. You know, Raekwon and all them, you know what I'm saying? You know what the fuck It just going depends on, on who I am. If, right, if and I, I, exactly. And I feel like because I'm an artist, I'm more willing to listen to the actual song. Like, the people he was playing it for were not artists. They was just people who, they just the money people. So, of course, they not paying attention because right now, you, the way you <laughs> make, I'm making money off you is by you producing. So, I don't care about you rapping, boy. But it, like, had he went and played that for Jay-Z, I'm pretty sure he would have got a different reaction. No, nah, but I feel like he did play it for Jay-Z, and the niggas he was still beat, like, bro. yeah, like, <laughs> get on that production shit, my nigga. Like, That's relax. True. But it just That's depends true. on who I am, because if I'm sitting yeah. at an executive... See, this is what's crazy, not to cut you off, but, like, I think how, you would be the nigga who gave him the chance at MTV for the, uh, for the You Hear It First. You remember mm-hmm. that part where he was like, yeah. oh, actually, I know so-and-so. I think Sway, you know what I'm saying? Da, 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 da. He's got an office over at MTV. We can do that for you. I think that's next time. You would have been the one nigga that gave him a chance because you know that first MTV interview, you know what I'm saying? That was big. That was really the introduction yeah. Kanye to the world, you know what I'm saying, on a big platform like that. You would have been the nigga that gave him a chance, but like, I don't even remember that nigga's name. And I don't even think he got mentioned in the documentary. <laughs> that sucks. Not really. <laughs> Jay and that motherfucker, though. You feel a me? A lot. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> that's yeah, I mean, I that's how birthing niggas, bro. Giving niggas opportunities to be great, but niggas, I don't know, bro. I don't think sound I would. Familiar. Sound like sound familiar. Yeah, I don't think I would have, bro. Honestly, you don't, you, don't, you don't think you would have bet on Kanye? Not if I'm an artist underneath Kanye. Yes, if I'm working in the office. And we working on Jay Z and DMX and That's Lauren Hill. <laughs> like, that boy, I don't care about you. I don't, I don't give no fuck about no yay nigga. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he was still Kanye yeah. at this point. Yeah, right. bro, it was like who nigga, bro? Then you had braids last week. Get out my face. Right. You don't even know what producer. your image is. <laughs> Yeah. Producers don't rap. I don't want to hear that. Like <laughs> that is crazy because that's the thing though too. Yeah, he was a producer. That and that's fucked yeah. up. Like. No, yes. nigga, it's like, do you have that pack though? That beat pack though. That, like, like, right. like, <laughs> like, yeah, nice song, but where's my beats? <laughs> oh god. I and, and this is funny because every time you see like he meets somebody or somebody that he knows, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, this is Kanye West. You think they finna shout him out? You know what I'm saying? Highest producer in the game, you know, da, da, da. and his face just he's just looking like <laughs> I do so yeah. much more. Oh god, oh god. <laughs> I do other things. And see, that's what makes you different next time, right? Because you do a bunch of different things, but like each individual thing is so like solidified and solid, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That you don't really like, it's not like you got one thing and then you try to do other things. It's just like you solid in a lot of different areas, you feel me? But it all comes together to like in one. So that's yeah, the difference between you and Kanye. I think that's same. what Childish was talking about too. <laughs> I know you're a fan of him, so. I do fuck with Childish Gambino, but because you do so many things, you'll never be respected in all of them. Mm-hmm. Like it's niggas Not who true. The n- nigga you you'll, be, about. you'll be slighted until you dominate yeah, the entire true. industry. That's true. That's true. Like people, there's comedians who don't think Childish Gambino is a full comedian. 
There's rappers who don't think he's the, the a full rapper. There's R and B singers who like, oh, he ain't no real R and B singer, but he sings real R and B. Got a Grammy for that shit. He raps real bars. Got mixtapes and all that other shit, and has done full hour long kind of stand up comedy specials. But because he doesn't do all of them all the time, they're gonna always slight you and feel like you're not a master at what you do. Mm-hmm. They ain't gonna see Kanye West as the true fashion mogul because he might dress bummy to make some beats for a year. <laughs> like, but nah, nigga, that's fashion. Exactly. This bummy shit has been a hit. <laughs> yep. Now everybody got a hole in their sweater. Everybody <laughs> and everybody trying to get them big fat boots too. Yeah, them SpongeBob <laughs> SquarePants boots. God yes. Damn. May I take your order? Face <laughs> ass boots. Fire. 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 Whatever. Fire. 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 Niggas want shit because they, they see me. niggas wear them. They fire. Where would I mean, you ever wear go. those? That's how anything go, nigga. To the ranch. Exactly. Even though I when, think when were you planning on going to the ranch? I was hoping to get invited, but the nigga said he lost my number. So I was like, whatever, oh, bro. Okay. Like, okay, okay. Catch okay. next round. He said he might do a third diner. So I was like, all right, I'm, I'm going to be ready by the end. So you sound like Soldier Boy. Hey, no, you can't be on <laughs> my album. He, he, made, the, he made two, though. He made down to two, though. Come on, He's on down to two. He's on down to two, bro. Come on, bro. Yeah. Good round of applause. It's down to two out. Good round of applause. Woo! <laughs> is Dr. Two out officially? Yes, it's, it's on the on. Sim player. You can only listen on there. Yeah, see, no, he didn't make it then. No, no, he <laughs> made it. He made it. I'm gonna you want me to tell you exactly what track he's on? He's actually bro, it on don't matter that. if he's on the sim player, bro. If that nigga ain't on the streaming you know, platforms, he ain't make the cut. None of it's <laughs> on the streaming platforms, but that's true. Exactly, that's bro. True. He's on the practice tape. That's Just because you're on the practice squad, don't mean you're gonna get to play on Sunday when that shit drops. I mean, I <laughs> he's on dead. track 16. He's not on the exactly. top list. You on track 16 on the demo. Because <laughs> he Rude. never do he never do be finished with it for real. He bro, always keep going. Yeah, man. He's still editing uh New Slaves, whatever that name of that project is, <laughs> that motherfucker's still getting edited. Oh, good. Thinking, Chris, I put your security at risk. Pops home, I ain't getting Chris. I put your security at risk. You! Is that how something's going to come on that bit? You! <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, this is the first song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tri- yeah. <laughs> Throw some D's on that bit. <laughs> so y'all get for free. I don't want to get copyrighted. I'm good. But no, I'm that good. was the first song, Security. That had, it wasn't even the Soldier Boy one. I ain't got that far yet. See? This Can we talk game. about how people making these super long ass albums? <laughs> I'm not mad at them. I don't know. I you gotta just... be that nigga though. You can't be a make a super long album and you ain't that nigga. Like I, I like I, I definitely feel like it, it depends on who it is. I like it Ray definitely Shermer. depends on who it is. Ray but... Shermer dropped a hard long album they had the three disc i think the last nigga i was mad at for dropping a bunch of songs was chris brown <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's see. all he dropped is 50 songs a time and i think that's the last that's what i'm saying i think that's the last person who i was mad at just like god damn bro this is way too much music okay that's is it what though? i'm saying it is, is. not, to, it not is. for chris you gotta think is chris brand has fans who have been fucking with him since he was 13 <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Myself so, included. There's a girl who's gonna listen to all 50 of them tracks, and That's she's true. gonna write and has listened to every other track that he's put out before then. So if Chris Brown got the fan base to drop 50 tracks, I'm not mad at it. Like Justin Bieber can drop 50 tracks. If people going gonna listen to, to all saying, 50 of them, you know what I'm saying? It's just about uh who it is. But yeah, logic can't drop 50 tracks. <laughs> We don't want to hear 50 Logic tracks, bro. It's a logic hater, bro. <laughs> be, be, be. I'm the I'll only nigga that wants I'll, to hear. <laughs> I'll slowly figuring that out. I feel like you're a logic hater, bro. No, I love logic, bro. I've always uh, find you're closeted. Logic. You're closeted though, because I feel like every time we talk about logic, you hate on this nigga. No, I every time like... we talk about logic, I'm giving him shine. What are you talking about? What I told you, I, I'm, I'm the only nigga who said logic was top five. What was he talking about? I think it was me, you, and Coach, bro, talking about some motherfucking uh, logic is a top five, Layla. 
we we was talking about uh we was talking about who we rather listen <laughs> she's to. She's like, no. <laughs> we was talking about who would you rather listen to, Logic or Jada Kiss? And I was like, bro, I'm not even gonna lie. I might pull up a Logic song before I just go play some Jada Kiss, and that's just me personally. But I feel like everybody was shitting on me, bro. I feel like nah. everybody thought I was out of line or something. Like, damn. No, I would it's definitely out, like, go Logic Jada at hard. Kiss. <laughs> it's out of line to say out loud, but there is a huge community that's going to go check you Logic are, out before Kiss. On the podcast, Logic top five. That's what I'm saying. Like, where are we at, bro? Where are we at with that? Logic is top five. If you're, oh my god, there's a. T- I keep telling y'all, there's two top fives, bro. There's a top five of niggas that like are solidified legends and you can argue about that but don't buy really give a fuck then it's an active top five it's niggas like kendrick cole drake then these last two spots is what every other nigga in the world is fighting for and it just depends on where you're from and who you like you can go wale big sean logic childish gambino kyle uh Mickey Fats. Oh man, I'm I am a Kyle, I am a causative Kyle, Kyle fan. I don't even even bro. No, nah, I can't even cause it. You're right, bro. I always Kyle. Always I don't. I don't, think, I don't. I don't. I don't think you put that out there publicly, though. Maybe like, how much I like Kyle. If niggas go back and listen to your <laughs> early music, I think they might see it. They might see it. Oh yeah, I'm. I'm. Me and Kyle are like. Okay. <laughs> I got a soft spot for Kyle, bro. He was on when I was getting late. Like, respect, though. Have y'all seen his Netflix movie? Yes. With, with Khalifa? <laughs> it's all right. I have not. How, how was I think it? It's all right. I think it's, it's all right. right. The it's nigga right. got I, a movie on Netflix, first of all. Fuck whether it's all right. But it's all, it's all right. This is what happened. <laughs> it's all right. the, the nigga blew up, and then they tried to make him 16 again. And it's like, no, bro, you're already 23 or damn near 30. I've been seeing you all this time. Why are they trying to make it seem like you're 13 all of a sudden? Yeah, I, did, I, wasn't, I wasn't buying yeah. the whole nerdy, nervous thing. You know yeah, what I'm saying? when it like, came time nah. to rap, you rap like like you said, like you 23, 24. Like, you know, oh, like, like you've been drop. doing this shit you know for seven years. You feel me? And like, see, it's a I wasn't, different. when he got big, that's when I had knew him. Like, I didn't know him before then. So yeah. when I saw that, I'm like, what the fuck? Like you a grown ass man? What are you doing? Like, what are you doing? Yeah, they try to make him a child again, and I don't get. Yeah, why. I'm like, why? Why do you seem so childish to me? Like, yeah, <laughs> I'm like, what is this going on? Like, you seem no, he, like you old as hell. Like, his rapper that used to be Kid, right? If I'm not mistaken, like he used to go by Kid, something which like is that. it was something like that, and he used to just be known as like the funny. But that's why I think he's so hard though, because he's always been himself. He ain't never been like nobody else. So I just, but yeah, that's what I'm saying. After them three niggas, it's whoever you want to put in them top two, man. I know niggas who put uh, G Herbo and. Sound like my girlfriend. (laughs) Okay, Uh, now the thing about G Herbo. (laughs) (laughs) There's niggas who will kill you over G Herbo. Listen, mm-hmm. I love G Herbo. G Herbo is definitely in my top five. All right, G Fazo. See, I've never even heard of <laughs> he He's a Chicago it. legend. Bro. Dude, yeah, dude, so. Stop on me, go watch G Fazo. I've never even heard of that term until I started listening to G Herbo. Yeah. I don't even know. <laughs> to this day, I don't even know if I'm allowed to call them that. I feel like that's the game term. Like, I got info. I can't say I want some all white G Fazos. I feel like I'm getting shot. Yeah. You can say what you want to say, man. I can say what I want to say. Yeah, yes. it. part of okay, it. bet. All right. <laughs> he wants you to say that. That's I'm why he's stepping said. or not. <laughs> I'm like, can I just get a pair of Air Force Ones? <laughs> white, the white no, ones. That, 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 that's how it used to be. I used to work at uh, at Oxmoor at the shoe store. We did not have Air Force Ones, but ask me how many times a day, bro. The, the 60 year old white girl. <laughs> With with already she already got on the white the white ones, but you know how they were they were them all beat up and shit. They 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 got them on as beaters. So they're like, do you all sell these? I'm like, nah, bro. Does anybody in here sell these? Nah, you at the wrong mall. You got to go yeah, to St. Matthews or something like that. You got hit Foot Locker up, my yeah. G. And we ain't even you got one of those in this one. Shoe carnival. I'm in Oxmoor. I'm in the I'm in the other uh, other mall. You remember where uh where Tyler? Used to work at where he used to be in the in the suits and stuff like that, and uh, Tyler from the group chat from Grayson. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Remember he used to wear the suits and shit like that. And he like sold shoes and shit like that. That's where he worked at. 
that that mall. Yeah, he worked at a store in that mall. That's the mall I worked at. So okay. These, these ain't the these ain't the these ain't the Air Force Ones type of shits. <clears throat> <laughs> this, this, this the ball that got you go into the store. It's one, it's one luggage bag, and then a handbag, and that's all they got. I'm screaming. <laughs> Type shit. All the walls are white and shit like that. Oh, uh, you know what's crazy? At first, I thought that wave was for me, but then I had to think that wave ain't for me. It was for everybody. <laughs> yeah, it was love for everybody guys. I'm always on the phone with this nigga. <laughs> there's, there's never, there's never a what's up next time. The podcast. <laughs> I think it's nice though because it gives us a reason not to talk. We can kind of live our own lives and work on other shit because we know we got to talk about shit on the podcast. Facts. Or else we, we would get all the way here and not have shit to talk about. Speaking <laughs> of, let's talk about us being our first time off track we was consistent until about a week or so ago we kind of all fell off so how you feel about it next time do you think the fans are upset you feel like our 15 to 20 views an episode <laughs> are really being affected right now why because we was two three days late with the video drop or something? We, was, we was we was late with a bit it started we was late for an upload and then we was i think we was late for another recording and then late for an upload and we just kind of been behind like I did, I dropped the uh, the last episode yesterday. Ah shit! Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We kind of been we've been off track ever since, bro. But see, that's why I think we need to drop these hoes on Monday. You want to drop a podcast on Monday? Uh yeah, I think we should record Sunday, drop Monday. What do you think, love? Mm-hmm. I think waiting a week is just too long. Like we record Sunday, then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, a whole news cycle come around before we drop it. And then we still ain't recording okay. until two more days after that. <clears throat> well, it helps to give your boy space to edit and shit, but it's okay. I'd say maybe it's like a I'm Wednesday. Okay. It depends. I could do I could do a Wednesday, something like that. We can move a Wednesday. In. But this is what I'm saying. Do you think that, that fucks up our flow? What do you think our fans would say? That's all I'm really worried about. What do you think? I you think. Want? I think it would make the content seem more recent and not as old. Because sometimes when I'm watching, I'm like, damn, was the Super Bowl three weeks ago or two weeks ago? We talking about the Super Bowl <laughs> in this episode today. <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> this episode see, the, goal, the goal was for the conversation to not be so dated as well. You feel me? So it mm-hmm. just it just really depends. Either way it goes, it's going to feel old. Because, like, think about it. Even if we record Sunday, excuse me, y'all, if, even if we record Sunday, and we drop Monday type shit. We're still talking about all the shit that built up from the last week. And we just talked yeah. about another Sunday. So either yeah, way but... it goes, it's going to seem like it's been some time before the shit that we're talking about is relevant. <laughs> Even though we put it out like more because it's closer than when we than when we recorded it. That's true. This is old, but I want to ask uh, uh, a woman her opinion on this. So uh new segment on the podcast called Africa Put your seatbelt, put your seatbelt on for me for a second. Do you <laughs> do you uh do you side with Megan? <laughs> oh, or are you listening <laughs> to Tory Lane? Reaction to the initial story when it popped out, like what did you think? And then how do you feel about the situation now? When it first happened, I was like, damn, why would he shoot her in the foot? Because, like, I saw the video of her, like, (laughs) limping out the car, right? And, like, you saw, like, the little blood trail happening and stuff. So, like, (laughs) so, like, um, I was just like, damn, he must have shot her in the foot because that's all I see. But then it's just like, I don't don't necessarily, I don't want to necessarily say she's lying because at the end of the day, I, it's, not, it's not really my thing, but I don't know. It's just it just feel like it's so much happening in between. Like it's so much back and forth. It's just like it doesn't even seem like this is a legal matter anymore. Like it just literally seems like y'all just arguing at this point. And then I just I just what I don't like is how all the niggas jumping on her. You know what I mean? Like how academics came at her and all crazy and stuff like you you didn't even have to do nothing like it's really so, not even your, your thing it was one of those moments where because niggas feel like they got a slight edge and slight advantage they gonna hit you with the kevin hart you finish 
or you don't. Exactly. Done. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's, my it's like, oh, all right, you feel it? Like, you know what I'm saying? It's one of them yeah. motherfuckers. It's like, we, they try to let they nut hang because we finally got a dub. Like, we lost R. Kelly. We lost <laughs> Bill Cosby. <laughs> And Not that's that literally their them, fault. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, but niggas, niggas don't understand that. We just see a loss for black men. We just exactly. <laughs> like, and R. Kelly did that because that's what he did. Now, how is that a loss to you? Like, you are you in the rapist community? Like, I'm confused. No, but that, I'm in I the don't black see... men who used to succeed. I, I feel that, <laughs> but it's like, <laughs> just because, have, just because you're have. successful don't mean you could do shit like that. You don't, that is also and because true. you're success, a successful black man is the reason why you shouldn't, yeah, because we are already going to take you down. Well, that's the double standard bullshit, though. That's how, that's what they feel like, because if it was, if these white dudes get away with the same shit all the time. Yeah, they sure do. But that don't make it right. Either way it go. Either way it go. (laughs) It's a double standard, but like, what are we going to do? Yeah. Not shoot black women in the foot. But don't lie if we ain't actually do it. Exactly. That's true, too. Like, I feel like if if she did lie, like, that was fucked up. But I'm not going to sit here and say she did. I'm not in the courtroom. I don't know what's going on. I know what academics was talking about, but how? why should I believe him? (laughs) Why should you believe him over anybody else? You should believe him because he did have access to the documents, but but it's just it's just it's just the official documents are only gonna be portrayed in the way of whoever's presenting them, right? No matter what in court, it's about convincing <laughs> your side. That's what I'm saying. Right? You know what I'm so you That's... never really know what's real. I'm... Like <laughs> you niggas you already really talking about it. They have no idea how like the court of law works. <laughs> yes, if Tory Lane's prosecutors, like if they're the ones who put this in play obviously it's gonna be in favor of him they wouldn't say nothing else that those are his right, lawyers right. that's how that works like that's why i'm like i'm not gonna take what he's saying because <laughs> you taking his side Big that's ass. literally what it is that's why they put it out goofy like that don't make no sense so that's why i'm like i i don't know like i'm i'm gonna just sit here and i'm gonna be quiet about it because you're gonna wait till the whole thing finished. exactly whatever happened in court is just what is gonna happen to and these, let's see, I'm so influenceable. <laughs> I should have been I, like I was you. Ju- I was just about to say that. <laughs> yeah, I am so influenced. first happened, bro, I was bringing it up. You also know, just seeing how niggas felt about it. This nigga was like, no, nah, bro, fuck Tori. <laughs> He's out of here. <laughs> fuck that. What happened? Bro, I just, this is, I hold on, hold on. No... This, this, is, this is why I fuck with next time, right? Because this is what happens. Next thing you know, Tori drops an album, right? He listens to the album. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, well, damn. I didn't um, listen to the album, bro. You didn't listen to the album? You didn't listen no, to the No, I did song. not, bro. I not did not hear song. the album from beginning to end. I heard one song and I watched a music video. But the music video was hard, bro. I cannot, it was trending on YouTube, bro. That was a while ago. But like you said, you are very influenceable. I just thought it was funny, but it's also the, it's also being about you know what I'm saying about accepting what you feel like is right. You know what I'm saying at the time at first when it first came out, it's like no, nah, fuck this nigga Tory. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I mean that's understandable. <laughs> but I mean, I, just, I thought that she was h- hilarious though. Like I thought that she was <laughs> at this point, now, it just feel like so passionate. I was like, bro, you we don't it, we ain't with the court yet. We don't know. I ain't saying nothing. I'm just saying. I Y'all mean, been... but when it first happened, that's what it looked like. It looked like it no, that he really did it. Like, so it's understandable that you felt that way because that's how it looked. I'm like, damn, why would he do that? Like, that's what I. That's how I was too. But now I'm like, well, <laughs> there's a lot of stuff happening on both sides. So now yeah, I don't know. <laughs> exactly. Nah, so I would just shut up. Story. <laughs> Y'all been following the Joe Button situation with uh. Uh, slaughterhouse. No. Oh, uh, okay. So put that y'all on P. I'm gonna put you on P. I'm gonna put you on P. So slaughterhouse is a rap group. Y'all know who slaughterhouse is. Oh. Crooked Eye, Joe Budden, Joel Ortiz, and Royce the Five Nine. They've been broken up. Together? Huh? You talking about when they was on Law together? When they, when they used to rap together in a rap group called no, I was talking about the beef. Wasn't they on like on Instagram? Live oh, yeah, that's what I was going to Yeah, They recently okay. been on live together because Crooked Eye and Joel Ortiz 
basically dropping the album, which is like a tell-all album on why the group ain't together no more. But Joe Button and Royce felt like that was some bullshit because you shouldn't even be talking about this. We was just finna rap with you niggas, but y'all done went and did some fuck shit for an advance. And so this is the question I have for y'all. <clears throat> Can you take money, go do your own thing, and not sever a relationship when you used to be in a group? Like, if you're a rapper in a group, are you saying, can you go do your own shit? You ain't even got to be a rapper in a group. If you a dancer in a group, if you a podcaster in a group, if one of us right now got a phone call to go do academics podcast, I would hope y'all would take that opportunity. Do we but that's not going to mean that somebody doing here. this, though? What if, that, what if that's in the contract? I can't you're not do allowed any to work. Podcast. I can't do anything else. That's in your contract. I mean, it just it just depends on what contract I'm already in. Am I already in a contract with the current podcast? Are you in a contract <laughs> with us, bro? <laughs> Don't worry about that. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. you see what I'm saying? Like, honestly, it's talking talk about the deucer shit like that right now. It would depend on opportunity, right? It would it would all depend yeah. on, on situation and shit, right? But. I don't feel like it's wrong. I don't feel like if somebody decides to do that, I don't feel like it would be wrong. It just, yeah, depends, I don't it just depends on the situation. Are we actively building something? <laughs> like, you know No, let's yeah. say the podcast is on the break because Lalo music career that went so crazy. <clears throat> we all got to chill out for a second. We waiting on Lalo to come back off tour and shit like that. But then Ali get a da 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 A convert for academics podcast. We like, well, shit, since Lalo doing her little thing, Boom. Now I'm sitting here mad. Everybody got something to do with me. <laughs> you know what I'm <laughs> saying? Like, uh, one <laughs> you got friends. You got friends. And I can't do the podcast because don't nobody want to see the podcast with just me. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I feel what that. What we do then? Like, it's, niggas is going to be hurt. My podcast might turn into me talking shit about y'all. <laughs> Because y'all are so blowed up over here in these individual spaces. If I talk shit about y'all, boom, it's going to make me blow up by myself over here. Right. And is that worth severing that friendship? Or was it never a friendship? Was it never a friendship in the first place? Was it always just business? It depends. It it depends. Like, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't see so. Because I feel like it, it's, I, I would look at it like this, right? Like the example you brought up, getting called to do DJ Academics or something like that. I'd be thinking like, okay, if I'm that valuable to where this entity reaches out to me, I'm going to go ahead and continue to add that to my own platform, to my own thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to just take that as, okay, I'm doing something right. But I feel like a lot of niggas wouldn't feel that way. Yeah. So I, I, I personally wouldn't do that. I don't think it would be worth losing a relationship, but I mean, it depends on the relationship. Yeah, it definitely depends on the relationship, but I don't think it's worth losing it if y'all friends, like if we all friends, you know what I mean? And two of us get some crazy opportunity and then one doesn't, I don't think it's worth, you know, ending the friendship because you upset or jealous or whatever. At, at that point, honestly, I'm definitely the type of person to put my niggas on. So, like, <laughs> if I get this opportunity, just know you getting one later at some point when I'm able to give you one. Like, it's never going to be no, it's never going to be like I'm the only one doing something because that's a horrible circle to have if you're the only one working. <laughs> Yeah, I guess that's something that's lost upon it, right? Like, especially if you can, like, continue to have the relationship and do the opportunity and then, like, provide another opportunity for the person that they don't have an opportunity going for themselves. Talking to the mic some more, bro. Um, my fault. I think I think niggas don't think about, uh, like, if one nigga gets the opportunity, the opportunity he could provide for other people. Exactly. Yeah, I think if that's the situation, that's an option I would go with that one. Yeah, but it just... It seems it's a little bit more deeper than that because it seems like them other dudes wasn't happy with the opportunities they were getting presented to them. Because now you got to think Joe Button's podcast is arguably best urban podcast, black podcast out there. One of the top most popular. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? One of the top most popular, 500 plus episodes. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I haven't seen anybody do something like that. 
I don't know who to compare him to anyway. Besides the fact Royce the 5'9 got nominated for a Grammy, working hard, this, that, and the third. Crooked Eye and Joel Ortiz, yeah. Like, not trying to be <clears throat> funny, like, they didn't drop some albums, had some TV shows and shit like that, but it hasn't been that notable. And I don't think there was a way around that kind of hate. That's all I was just thinking. I see that. Because like, you had to be feeling like this for a long time. Right. <laughs> like, and it wasn't like y'all weren't eating. If 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 we went up to them niggas and was like y'all hungry, y'all starving, y'all need to check, I bet they wouldn't be like, nah, nigga, I'm straight, I'm Gucci. I'm right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that's so, why I feel like they shouldn't be hating that though. <laughs> so you really gotta think like what's the money? It's not it's not worth the money. It is worth the money to some people. Some people are that broke. <laughs> and they don't want to admit it. And they can't and they don't want to. They don't realize that's how they move. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I guess I guess that's <laughs> something to think about. I don't know. I think I don't think I could ever be that much of a hater. Like, because I just feel like everybody has was has their thing, and everybody's gonna have their opportunity that comes to them. But like, I don't think I should you know try to downplay somebody else's shit because i'm not getting none right now i mean just i just gotta keep doing what i do exactly so that? <laughs> and working on what you trying to work on to better exactly. your craft. i shouldn't i'm not gonna make no album about y'all because y'all then went off and did some shit and i'm still here with nothing like i'm gonna just make an album like yeah because that's what you do like you a rapper you're supposed to make an album regardless of what you know what somebody else doing like you just supposed to do that and if you would have just kept on your hype that you had you probably wouldn't even have to do all this but obviously if you if you needed the other two then you probably wasn't that good in the first place exactly that's how i feel niggas out there tripping bugging hating did y'all see uh the baby and nba young boy dropped the album Let's talk about this video reaction a lot. Yes, I've seen that. I dropped, I All right. I seen the YouTube video. Let me ask y'all a question. Are they for? I got three choices. Are they friends? Is this a money grab? I guess it's really like four choices. Do, like, do they actually want to collaborate together? Is this a money grab? Did the label make them do it? All of the above. <laughs> like. Because I don't see them actually coming together. Me personally, I don't see them coming together to do an album. I think it's the label. I think it's label and money. I think it's a money grab. I think the baby saw how much how uh, NBA young boy numbers be without him really like being public about shit. You know what I mean? And he wanted a piece of that because his shit dwindling because you doing stupid shit. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Like, that's what I really just think is for, like, the money and for, you know, because, and you know how, like, he calls himself most hated now, like, because yeah. you want to, you talking about you most hated. Niggas not just hating on you. People hate you. Like, you actually do fuck shit that make people not like you, nigga. No one's hating on you. Like, <laughs> that's the difference. People hate hey, you. Hey, man, free the baby, bro. <laughs> You're not fist that man's disrespect weird. the He's baby weird. like that. Man, my, my, my guy, my guy's a gangster. He's that's weird. all I was about. That's all I was about to say. Like, I think it's all the above because, like, even even if right, I would say it's all the above because the baby doesn't need the young boy necessarily, and they already did a song together. So, like, they might, you know, what I'm saying they had a song, a music video that was actually fired before this. I think it's all the above. I think. Uh, it may hey, shame right on now. me. This is. This I is forgot the, about that. They did have a hit, and that was a fucking smash. It was this, like, is, that. this is the biggest. This is the most that NBA Yumbo has been talked about in the industry, just because he's beefing with an industry nigga. This is the most industry that NBA Yumbo has. This is the most like main spotlight that NBA mm-hmm. Yumbo has had in his career. I so, feel that. I'm saying probably which is all the more thing, reason they why they drop is probably any 
number of songs they already done made. You know what I'm saying? And this is a perfect time to put it out. I ain't saying he's choosing sides. That's what I'm saying. If, if, if like, like, I don't see the baby, like, he don't need young boy. So, really, it could have just been a thing. It could have been a label thing. It could have been the money. It could also be a fuck one. It could be all the about. Baby doesn't need NBA young boy. No, nah, I don't feel like he does. Does NBA young boy need the baby? NBA young boy don't need nobody. Him. All right. All right so, NBA, NBA young, young boy doesn't. Listen, listen now. Is NBA young boy arguing with his label as of late? Yes. The label's arguing with NBA young boy. He don't argue with the label, I feel like. He just do what the fuck he want to do. He can drop a music video and do millions and then go shut the fuck up. So okay, who drops his music videos? And on what platform? YouTube. Who owns that? Who owns his YouTube channel? Probably his label. Yes. So if he's beefing with the label and they own 100% of YouTube, because rumor yeah, has it, he's not getting a dime off YouTube. You don't from what that, I've heard. You may not necessarily know that. You We don't know that for sure. We don't know that for sure. Either way it goes, you feel me? I'm sure he has a way to monetize. Even if he's only getting ten percent of his YouTube, that's not enough. <laughs> not what? You think that's the only way he makes money is YouTube? Yeah. Nah, nigga, that's just. I think that's his number one source time. of income. That's I think his he's number the one YouTube source of king. streams. That's his number one source of like social media following. Like, is that is his like, number one source of income? That's bullshit, bro. I don't think so. It, what you just talking about? If he even name an NBA Young Boy sponsor, a sponsor? Yeah. What is NBA Young? Who's sponsored by NBA Young Boy, or who does NBA Young Boy sponsor? I don't think he has a sponsor. I'm just saying, bro. Okay, so he, name the last time you see NBA Young Boy on a tour. So he just got out of jail. Up. He's been locked up. Exactly. So if I'm fucking with a nigga with no sponsors, no tour, what is his number one source of income? Streams. What is his number one platform? YouTube. He does, if he, he doesn't does get a dime off YouTube, bro. the nigga is broke. <laughs> so you feel like NBA Youngboy is broke right now, is what you're saying? I think NBA Youngboy needed the baby as much as the baby needed NBA Youngboy. And yes. And I think the label in, made in them what, work together. In, in what way? For like the album dropping the tape, and because if that's the case, then he's getting paid off of streams, and I feel like he does stream, he does decent stream numbers. It's just he does the most numbers on YouTube because people like visuals. He's the king of YouTube. He's the king of YouTube. Yeah, for sure. So but if he's not getting what paid what off what YouTube, if, okay, he don't gotta get paid off YouTube because artists have plenty of ways, nigga. He can be selling merch, nigga. He can still get paid off his streams. Like, you feel me? He's getting paid somehow, some way. I do not believe NBA Youngboy is broke. You know how many kids that nigga got? <laughs> 50. Yeah, you know who his baby mamas is? Does it matter? Yeah. Because some of them is Floyd Mayweather's daughter. Like, you ain't fucking with no broke bitches, bro. Like, let's NBA keep it a buck now. NBA <laughs> Youngboy is bigger than her. He may not have as much money as Floyd, but he's bigger than both of them, bro, to me. Bigger than Floyd? Come he's on, bro. He's a celebrity. Come on, bro. The world's greatest Young fighter Boy of all time. Who don't know there's who more, Young it's Boy more, is. It's definitely more people that know Floyd than, than Young Boy. <laughs> now, if you're talking about children, okay, maybe. So, so, but, so, 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 like, would you consider Floyd an A-list celebrity? Yes. Absolutely. Would you consider him being Young he's Boy? The, he was celebrity? the highest paid no. athlete what, for, like, I don't B-list? know how many years. C-list? B-list, C-list? I think NBA, NBA probably C-list. Big, bro. Maybe he's big yeah. with kids. He's not big with everybody. There's a lot of yeah. kids in the world. Every grown hey. adult got. Two, and he's not even as them. big as kids. <laughs> I'm just saying. He's not big with kids like these white singers. Like, um, what's the white boy with the pretty face? Not Justin Bieber, but he be singing country with the guitar. He's nice too, man. Uh, on, Sam. Ed, oh, Sam. Uh, uh, Sam Smith. Not Sam Smith. Not Ed Sheeran. God damn it! What's this motherfucker pretty too, bro? What is his name? Oh, uh, I know you're talking about fucking Sean Mendez. Sean fucking Mendez. Yeah. Mendez. And, <laughs> hey, bro, that's a pretty motherfucker, bro. <laughs> I don't care what nobody say, bro. That I motherfucker think, is handsome. I think handsome. he's a little too pretty. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's a little, you know. You think, no, he, he married to the girl from the group. Uh, and he with the girl from the group. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, come on now, nah, nah, I seen bro, that... a video. You know what? I seen a video of him looking at a picture of a girl. He was like, "It's giving, it's giving." And since then, I just seen him different. <laughs> you just seen I'm him done. different. He <laughs> sees the difference. <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> you might I, have I, I'm a like, little, I, and that's okay. It's nothing wrong with that. You know, what I mean? I'm not saying that's a problem at all. It's not. 
but you you may be a little nah man that's just growing up rich that's what that is <laughs> That, it's that's giving. growing up rich. It's giving. It's giving. That it's, giving. it's giving. I say it's giving. <laughs> I have. And I said it's not giving what need to be gave. Sometimes it needs to give more. Nah, I think you need to see the video. <laughs> I've said I it both ways. <laughs> I think you need to see it to understand what I'm talking about. Oh, okay. He probably popped this hit with it or something. I'm like saying, like, <laughs> he, he gave a little snap or something. Oh, right? man, okay. Ooh. It was too much seasoning on it. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> He put a little too much sugar, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, that's funny, you know. But that's what I'm saying. NBA Young Boy is not bigger than Sean Mendes. Hell, he's not probably. Ah, no, he might be bigger than Grayson Ramsey. But he, Grayson Ramsey's one hit away from being bigger than NBA Young Boy. I don't even know who that is. I ain't that's the little white boy who was yodeling in Walmart, oh. and then he got on the <laughs> remix with Lil Nas X. It de- it depends, bro, on like how big you think country music is, bro. I'm saying. The NBA Young Boy is the is one of the top level entertainers in a genre of entertainment that is very much worldwide and popular across everywhere. A lot of people listen to rap, and what the most popular form of rap is the type of music that NBA Young Boy makes. He's the kind of kind of the leader in that kind of sound and that kind of that kind of style of music. NBA All Young I'm saying Boy is he's very very famous. I feel like he's able I to agree. monetize his his whatever he's doing. Will NBA Young Boy be considered a top five rapper in the 2020s? Maybe. Keep I don't think so. Dark in them, hell yeah. I don't think so. I wouldn't put There's... Dark in that. <laughs> I, I'm gonna think, tell y'all right now. This is a hot take. About bro. It. His, the his best goal. rapper of the 2020s will be Little Nas X. Hot take. Shoot me, sue me, whatever. <laughs> there will not be a nigga who dominates the 2020s within the next couple of years. Not even Jack Harlow. He's number two. Wait, wait, wait. I swear to on, God. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because I was gonna bring up Jack. Nobody, I was gonna bring up Jack next. Go ahead. Jack is number two. Then I think Jid. And what's the nigga that signed the PG Lane? Uh, Baby King. Baby King uh, Baby and Corday. And Cor, why be in Corday? We'll, Those we'll, are my we'll have, five. We'll have, we'll, have, we'll have to see, bro. Because this is we'll have to see. And check with me five that's years a, that's from a now. very a very sturdy <laughs> hot take. Okay. And <laughs> the, sure num- the number one person would be Little Nas shit. X. And and what do you aside consider, what from do you niggas consider like, number one, are you talking about like selling wise, like streams? Why are you trying to like- I'm saying like there will be a point where niggas will argue that Lil Nas X is in their top five, and we'll have a legit argument because it's not like the bars isn't hard. Like you really gotta hear some of the shit this nigga says, bro. Like as a nigga who's like I'm listening for bars. I don't care how much gimmicky shit you do, bro. That impresses me to get people to listen. But when I'm listening, what the fuck are you saying? And I'm a bottom on the low, but I top shit. It's a little scary, bro. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like okay, I, do you I get what I'm here. saying? Like, it's, a, yeah, it's that was that was nice. I can't it's a different like. It's like oh, this and that's just a single. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's just the Christmas joint, nigga. He hasn't sat down and tried to put together a full album yet. Like, I'm, I honestly think he could take over the game easily. And it's half of it is because he's openly gay. Mm-hmm. He's going to have a, such a like, different. I just feel like Lil Nas X is going to be a big, a big star. Like, because of that, like, because there really hasn't been anybody like that for real, for real. And at this point, you know, people not really care about that no more. I know he had a, got a lot of slack with like Boosie and all that, but like, come on, who ain't nobody? As long as Tyler the like Creator that. keeps paving the way like the way he is, <laughs> yep. Lil Nas X will be just fine. <laughs> I do think he's gonna be a big star. I definitely think that, definitely. And niggas is gonna be trying to knock that nigga out the top spot, but what are you gonna say? I'm gonna fuck you up, please. Like you know what I'm saying? Like you can't, you can't diss him. And I think that's the reason why he's like you can't really fuck with him either, is because he gonna troll the shit out of you, and you just gonna be so you just gonna be mad. You really gonna be the only one that's mad. <laughs> like you can't say nothing. Like you can't argue with him. His social media game is too strong. Uh. Another hot take is what's the um girl 
she don't never put more than a second verse on a song. Every song's a minute long. It irritates the fuck out of me. Um, whack. Tierra Whack. Oh, Tierra Whack. She's a sleeper she's for me. Hard. She can sneak up in there and knock one of them niggas out real easily. No, like, she's hard as fuck. We talked yeah. about her the last one. Yeah, I was about yeah, to say, she's I'm hard. Like, oh, almost too complicated for you, boy. I hey, and I, if no name would write more than one mixtape, slightly, bro. We would. There wouldn't even be a conversation for any of these niggas. If no yeah. name would rap, it would be over with for niggas. People, people kind of written her off because of the little shit with J Cole and all that. But she killed J Cole, and I she, did. She, <laughs> she did. She did. Oh my God! You talked the rap about me. <laughs> she did kill him, she but like niggas in a body bag, bro. Niggas be too. Niggas be dick riding so hard. That's why I'm surprised that men can't get pregnant the way they be dick riding, because they they don't get off the dick. Okay, I'm sorry, they don't. Like, when can we admit that <laughs> she really she really rap out rap that bad? But don't yeah, nobody she- want to say it. Well, because see, the thing is, of who she is, because the way she went about it was so ice cold that J. Cole, this is the thing. This is what I respect J. Cole, but it's so funny to me because he takes shots at niggas who, if they respond, if he responds back, it's not really fair. Because, like, he's had beef with Diddy. And so if Diddy come beef with you, you know what I'm saying? You can't really rap back at Diddy. <laughs> you know right. I mean? like, you know, not Diddy, um, Diggy, Diggy Simmons, Rev Run son. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Gotta, yes, bro. You gotta go back, bro. They got this tracks to each other. It's hilarious. Yeah, <laughs> what the fuck? So it's like you gotta look at Cole's list, bro. Like, yeah, yeah, beef with little Diggy Simmons and shit like that. And so it's like you said something about no name. When she was starting a book thing and complaining about you niggas not doing shit. And then her response is political talk, political talk. You thought the rap about me? When now the violence in the street, da, 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 da. like she she really like she just went so crazy on that motherfucker that Cole couldn't say nothing back. But niggas was like, oh, he said no name's name. They had a phone call. Congratulations, no name. But it's not like, no, not congratulations, nigga. Like, fuck that nigga. <laughs> like. I can right. see how you really feel slighted all the time. Yeah, I but know. I also, a part of me felt like he wanted to sign her, and that was the technique. Because if you want to, you get what I'm saying? If you want to cause a conflict or get somebody on your label and you want to get them out of retirement, let me see if I throw a diss at her. What will she do? Because mm-hmm. no name on Dreamville is an issue. <laughs> like, if she just everybody was like Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> so if that if the technique was to poke the bear to see if you could get the bear to come join the team cute you get what I'm saying but mm-hmm. it didn't work and that's not how you go about that not with her like yeah. she's so solidified you know? <laughs> I don't know, Jake. I like I like J. Cole. J. Cole is one of my favorite rappers. But I do see how he be moving sometimes. It'd be a little weird. Like, why you why is you low-key dissing niggas and then try to make it seem like you this woke ass, like <laughs> you ain't you he, ain't you just speaking in general. Like you we know who you talking about, bro. Like why you can't just stand behind it, like. <laughs> that's the oh, game no. today though it's all about uh-oh. subliminals uh-oh. oh yeah yeah uh-oh. yeah I know. <laughs> uh-oh. uh-oh speaking of speaking of the devil. Oh, shit. here it go it just got real i ain't gonna it lie just got real. Uh-oh. <laughs> just got real. hey but that's just how the game is welcome contrary welcome contrary <laughs> What's up? So we were just talking about uh, J. Cole and how he has these little subliminal disses. Hold on, but, hold on. My blue, my speaker system ain't hooked up here. Uh, I don't fuck uh, up again. Hey, real quick. This time, real, real quick. I can't hear you. Real quick. All right, now give some shout outs. Hold on. Who said J. Cole say what? Hold on, we finna do some shout outs real quick. I just wanted to say hey. I'm missing sound again. Hey, friend. 
God damn. Why well, can't hear you? <laughs> He's saying all the right things. I don't know. Huh? <laughs> oh my God. Can they hear me? We can hear you. I didn't want to say hey, 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 hey Janae. Oh. And I'm, Hi. Glad, I'm finally glad we got a female voice on here because these dudes be wilding and saying all the wrong thing. I'm finally glad I got somebody here to speak what I want to say. <laughs> Y'all need it, Janae. I'm oh, glad. I couldn't have the podcast unless you got to be on one of the episodes. So there we go. Period. Can you hear us now? Representing. Female representation. We just elevated though, y'all. Y'all don't even realize. Y'all don't even realize. Yep. Clueless niggas are stupid. (laughs) (laughs) Can you hear us now? I can hear you because I turned it off my speaker. I don't know what my speaker. Oh, you know what? My volume on my speaker. Damn. Damn. Oh, Lord. (laughs) Damn. <laughs> Damn. Hey, you gotta check the value. We gotta get a studio. We, we oh, can't God. have you set up no <laughs> technology. About, I was thinking about that because I, I definitely want to get a studio. You feel me? But like, we still gonna have to do it on Zoom. Nah, everybody everywhere, everybody across the United States and shit. Everybody. I want to fly right. in every Sunday. You good now? I didn't have one of my volumes up. I had the phone and the Bluetooth volume, but I didn't have the Bluetooth machine volume up. Uh, well, hello, hey. sisters. Sisters in here today. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, Lalo. She's a rapper from Chicago, right? Lilo. Man. Yes. Lilo. I always say Lalo, bro. You go, Lilo, you're going to fuck me up, bro, because I say Lalo for some reason. I don't know why, but it's Lilo, like Lilo and Stitch. And yep. I'll be blowing it. Somebody slap me in the back of the neck. <laughs> Next time. Well, she is your name. There's no damn Lilo and Stitch unless you named yourself after Lilo and Stitch. Lilo and no. Stitch was named after her. Right. I was I was here first. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> I was here first. All right. But uh interesting <laughs> thing about Lo, she's a she's a dope ass artist. She she usually we were just talking about how she usually shows up to our shows and shit, and then she shut it down and then she leave, and it's like damn. Well, I guess the show's over, guys. Yo, should I say the fist fight story? The what? Go ahead. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, she yeah. want me to say it. Yeah, that'll, that'll, say that'll, it. Be a, that'll be a great introduction. Listen, listen, to, this, huh? listen to this. Listen to this. So uh, we got a track together. So we was at a studio session after one of our shows and events uh, maybe a year ago now. I don't know how long it's been. But I'm telling Lilo... Yo, Lilo, you're going to go last after all of us rap. She took it as a slight, I felt like. <laughs> she God. took it as me dissing her. Because I was like, yo, we all going to go, but you're going to come on the back end. She said, why? And I said, no, because you're going to come through and clean all of us up. It's going to be a different voice. I just can tell the way the track sound, you're going to come through hard. I guess she thought I was trying to just push her at the end, like wasn't nobody going to listen to her. So the first yeah. nigga rap. I went second. Yeah. I went second. Oh, yeah. Much Beasy went first. Much be- first nigga rap. He took his time. I went second. It took me a little minute too, but I got it done. Little one went in there, snap. She went to the booth and everybody just stopped what the fuck they was doing. <laughs> <laughs> and she, I don't even know, did you do it in one take or you might have messed up that first take, but we all heard how it was finna come and we was like, oh. Okay, <laughs> like everybody just had to take a had to take a seat and just be quiet, bro. She came through and then just murdered everybody. What I'm recorded studio? Huh? You talking about you was in the studio as a recorded track? Yeah, it was yeah. in the studio. It's out right now. You can stream it everywhere. It's called Fist Fight. We even named the song after her because she ate us up so much. Like the. Her verse is the verse that named the track. Yeah, 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 Ali yeah, Bumbaye turned her something to a fist fight. Like it was just, she started going crazy on that. You know what's crazy? That might have to be the tag. That, that might, might have to be. Tag. That might have to be the tag. Yeah, but, but whenever it's somebody, crazy. it's crazy because I hear I hear the story right. I ain't I didn't get to hear the song. I don't think I I was either asleep at that point to get out the out of the couch or something. But I. Like I hear the stories and then I hear the song. I'm like, oh no, she did smack y'all. That's crazy. <laughs> smack oh, us that's, up. 
<laughs> that's I was like, why they put her there? That that was my first thing. I was like, damn. And she like, I don't know what happened. I don't know who said what to her or all that time we took. Her ass was over there. That's like, because. Nope. Shy, no, we was just sitting in the corner, you know, I'm just sitting there vibing, I'm writing my verse, whatever, and I'm like, okay, cool, whatever, I'm going last, and it is what it is, but I mean, if you go last, you gotta go hard, you the last person, like, very true, I closed the song out, it gotta be, it gotta sound good, like, last was like always the vibing. Last you said what? Last always been the treasure spot, we don't, I mean, if you went last, it was only because you was nominated to go last. It, you weren't assigned to go last. You was assigned last. Like, no, nigga, I'm not going after that. <laughs> That's how we did. Really, <laughs> I, I was on a track with your daddy, and that nigga, I, that nigga, I, that nigga was spitting the track, <laughs> and I was not anymore because I said, nigga, I'm not going after that. <laughs> <laughs> you got that? Well. You know, it's all, I said, well, shit, I, nigga, I put this verse on this song over there, nigga, fuck that. I said, nigga, I'm not going to go after that shit. Nigga, you crazy. <laughs> hey, he need to write a second verse to finish that thought. Nah, nah. <laughs> I remember, listen, I was like, nigga, I'm not going after that, because I was late to the beat now. I was late to the beat. So I was like, yeah, oh, I was like, oh, word, word, well, I got something for that, blah, blah, blah. blah. Shit, nigga, I do a spit that motherfucker verse. I said, shit, nigga, I'm not going after that. <laughs> Second thought. Second thought. I put something else. Shit, you go last. You better bring it. You have hey, to. She brought it. And shut us all like it was just ignorant. It was ignorant. And that's what we're saying. Like, that's what you would do at the shows, too. And I think that's kind of that's kind of hard. I think that's wild, <laughs> bro. Like. I remember at the KMF, uh, my cousin uh, Slick Newsom. You feel me? That's all he could talk about. He's like, I don't care what you do, cuz nigga, you gotta get Lulo back. You got you, she. She ate that motherfucker like you was his favorite favorite performance out of the whole night. You feel me? So I thought that was pretty dope. And pretty much every time you get good reviews as far as like your performance this year from those shows that you have been performed at. So most definitely, most definitely. I think. And so, I guess the question is. Cause I'm gonna bring it back to the J Cole topic. If that's cool. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, you still there? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> in the booth. In the booth. All right. So I'm J Cole ain't the only. <laughs> what he said? I said I'm in a four by six box over here. I'm stuck in my truck, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, oh, you anyway. said it like you was in jail, though. <laughs> 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 Dude, I got it. Nigga said. He said he got nigga, less space than the jail. Nigga said, niggas in jail got more space than me, nigga. So I got to do something perfect. I got to move. Point the camera at the ceiling. But y'all can hear me good, though? Am I yelling or? Uh... No, I can't hear We you can me. hear you good. I think if you disconnect to the Bluetooth, we got a little bit of a delay. Yeah. So if you disconnect to the Bluetooth, it'll get rid of that delay for us. Hear Unless you need it then. to hear. I can't hear y'all then if I do that. That's oh, okay, well then don't worry about it, Dan. We can work through it. But the question really yep. is, a lot of rappers right. today, they be doing these different subliminals. Like we was talking about J. Cole doing subliminal. Drake is the king of a subliminal. Uh, even Jay Z does subliminal stabs and jabs. So when did it switch from saying the nigga's name? To... It wasn't ever that. Way. It wasn't ever that way. Nobody ever said, niggas didn't ever say their name back in the day. If I, I mean, this was a little before me, but if you look at the KRS One and uh, MC Shan's beat. With the bridges over and um, all of that, I don't think either one of them ever said nobody's name. Hmm. I don't think I knew what it was about. No, I, I definitely. Uh huh. <laughs> I can definitely remember KRS One saying MC Shan's name, but that was his DJ, right? Well, no, no, no. It was um. I mean, that was a different crew. 
They were from Queens. The other one was from uh, somewhere. I don't know. I, I ain't from New York. But I don't think that they, I don't. They was from the South they, Bronx. The South Bronx. The South South Bronx. It was the Queens of South Bronx beef. But I mean, as far as actually calling names, that's when you got pub back in the day. It wasn't. I mean, many of these don't went on without names being called. Without names being called, so I don't, I don't even put a lot of stock into it because I give niggas credit when they do say names. Like that's why I don't put a lot of stock into oh, well, ain't nobody saying no names, and now some cats are saying names. And like, I give you credit when you do, nigga, call a name. I remember when Buster Rhymes had a problem with Ja Rule, that nigga started to track off, say, "Hey, Jeffrey." <laughs> <laughs> hey, motherfucker. Hey, motherfucker. Y'all rule niggas say Jeffrey. That was it. You know, I mean, when Pop came out, when that nigga, I fucked your bitch, you fat motherfucker. <laughs> Same, but we knew who the fuck he was talking about. I mean, that was, niggas didn't always say no names. Niggas like to say that they did and all of that, but that ain't, that ain't really how to, um, that ain't really what, 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 what went on. It was, a lot of niggas was, was, was sneak dissing. It was, it what about Mama dissing. said knock you out? Did we know that was about CLs? Was that? A, did we know, or was that subliminal? I didn't know. I didn't know who the fuck that was. I thought it was just a fucking. I thought he was coming back because he had been gone for so long. Mm. It was about before I had you know read the Source magazine, you know follow up on it. When I just hear it being uh shit, I was in South Carolina then. Then we yeah we should have been in South Carolina then. Just being a kid, you know what I'm saying? Being a cat from South Carolina, not being New York in the streets and knowing every which way and who got beef everywhere. Shit, that, that, that nigga, mama said knock you out. I thought it was just because you you, you had been gone for so long. And see, that's what, that, all right, so let me ask you these questions because our generation, if you ain't smoking on your ops, you ain't got a hit. So, but they say names. Who I smoke? <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> like, we, our, our generation drop names if they really want to, like. That's where it should be. That's where it should be. I yeah, but that nigga. leads to niggas dying. Right. That's because you niggas don't know how to motherfucking win. Nobody wants to lose. They say we didn't want to lose, but nigga, y'all niggas took it to another level not wanting to lose. Definitely. <laughs> Niggas Definitely. is flipping over the checkerboard. Niggas is flipping the table. <laughs> Damn, fuck this game. Just three times, it took three L's. Now you want to kill a nigga. Bitch, why you ain't want to kill a nigga the first time? <laughs> nigga killed you a month ago. Two, a year ago, that nigga killed you. And now you coming back, but now you don't, you don't want to kill a nigga. Now you want to kill a nigga for real, for real. That's your problem. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm not sure what that's about for real. Hey, but I want to ask uh, uh, ask a question as far as the, the, the female beef. When y'all have beef, it don't turn into gunplay as much. You know, it's not going to turn into gunplay as much. So how do you handle it is trying to be lyrical about it? Because it's not going to turn into gunplay. I mean, you can yeah. turn into a and kick your ass. I mean, a lot of big-ass girls out there for rapping. You know what I'm saying? It's, 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 it's not size you is, but and, hey, and, and uh, you, you can't even say that. <laughs> she, she might be five three. She might be five seven. No, oh, no, oh, but you just straight up says a lot of big girls out here rapping. I don't know if you could just say that out loud. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> she is, big ass girl. Shit, that motherfucker got more ass to breathe through than the dump truck. But she won't fight instead of rap. So uh, what I'm asking is, with you young, when there's so many female rappers, and it, it, it gets to be, what, what do y'all do? Because they ain't gonna come to gunplay. I mean, you can't just sit there and and whoop, you whoop out. You you gonna kill niggas and all of that? You actually got to get lyrical, right? Yeah, so, I mean, the with the female rap beats, the re really the only ones I really know is like. Lil' Kim and Foxy and Nicki Minaj and everybody. So, like, the only thing I would know for real for real is, is out-rapping them. 
Like that, that's really the only thing beef? you could do. Huh? Is there Nikki beef, Milo? Is that what I just... Is that what no, I I'm just Nikki. saying she that's had beef with everybody. Cool. That's all I'm saying. Can't nobody beef with her, though. Can't, you can't, beef with her. can't beef with the queen. Lil' Kim and Foxy had beef. I, I remember we opened up with Lil' Kim right when that shit, when, when Kim and Foxy had beef. They, I've never, I never heard Kim say her name. I... I I never heard. I never heard Kim say. I never heard Foxy say Lil Kim. But it, these days, you know, what I'm saying if they're gonna spit, spit shot, they're gonna call your name and call your name and call your name. That's why I was wondering, from a female perspective, how when it's not gonna trigger into four and five niggas getting killed. Which actually, actually, I take that back. Lil Kim and Foxy did end up with somebody getting killed. That's how. Kim ended up in jail and the, uh, yeah, actually, uh, well, I'll take that back. She <laughs> did end up I was actually sitting here thinking, like, all the female beams I've heard actually end in physical contact. Like, yeah, they did end up killed in that instance right there. Didn't but, uh, but Cardi B? Between the, not between the females themselves. Cardi B well, put hands on Nicki Minaj, didn't they? Didn't they get in a fist fight somewhere? They like, it was barely a fist fight, honestly. They first of all, y'all was at like this magazine like party. Like y'all, that's not no place to fight, first of all. And like it that was more so like, you know, they came into contact, we face to face, but ain't nobody really doing nothing for real. Like, yeah, Cardi had the knot on her head, but not because Nikki punched her on the head. It was somebody else that elbow elbowed her because she was in the way. Like I don't, I ain't never really seen it end in no physical contact, but I mean, I can believe the Kim and Foxy thing for, for what it is. But like, honestly, the way that female rap, well, from what I've seen, it, it goes from you just out rapping them and then you just keep on out selling them. And if that don't happen, then you lost. Like, <laughs> if you think about like Nicki Minaj and Remy Ma, Remy Ma made like that seven minute long, sheether thing right and i mean yeah. her bars was decent <laughs> but Nicki minaj came out dropped her two with and had and it had drake and lil wayne on it and that was the diss towards you like you lost sorry it, it sold more like that's just how it went and don't nobody care no more like you made that sheether you said fuck Nicki minaj all of that and and now and now your whole view was different you know what I mean? After all of that, now you don't, now you're not on that no more. So it's just like, I feel like you just get out rapped and it just, you move on. <laughs> and that's all you can do. I don't think she got yeah. out rapped. She, go ahead. Say it again. She on. had her ass down because uh, Remy's problem is she like to put her hands on fucking people. And she don't understand she going to prison every time she put her hands on people. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> well. You got it. Fucking hands on people, your ass. <laughs> Every time she touched somebody, her ass going to prison. Yeah, there's no defense for that. No, you definitely did that. Yeah, but like, <laughs> ain't no, ain't no defense for that. You, you know I mean, at that point, <laughs> you, you just gotta stop. At that point, I mean, I just feel like a lot of the stuff don't even be worth fighting over. Like, a lot of the times when females when women are beefing it's because a nigga had stepped in and said some stupid shit that's usually how it go like with nikki and lil kim that was all diddy diddy did all of that <laughs> and it's usually him he be one of the messiest that motherfuckers nigga messy yeah <laughs> nigga like <messy. laughs> he, he be in the middle of a lot of shit like so i feel like when when female rap beefs happen it's because it's a messy ass nigga in between it like and, and then motherfuckers realize that now it's over. It's like, damn, we beefing because this nigga started shit, not because we actually had problems with each other. Like, would you say, oh, I said, what, what shit he finna start with Lil Miami? <laughs> oh my God. Whatever. I don't is. know. Young she Miami. Was, <laughs> what was she young was, Miami? yeah, she was talking mess about Nicki Minaj before she even knew her. And you thought yeah. you was big. You thought you was going to get famous and she was going to work with you. No, she's seeing that you was talking shit. So you should have just sat there and let it be. That's what you did. It's Diddy New Gal is a uh, little girl, city girl. <laughs> I see. Yeah. He probably going to mm -hmm. mess that up too. Messy ass. 
Y'all talking about Young Miami? Yeah. Speaking of, she was featured in a, a video by a young man named uh, Jack Carlo in the Netflix Oh yeah. Video. How you feel? Uh, you see, uh, uh, you see where Jack Carlo is gonna play a Woody Harrison's role in the White Man Can't Jump reboot? I saw, I saw a story. On yeah, that. nigga, we out, nigga. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's from no. Louisville. I'm sure you made that connection. You know what I'm saying? We up. Hey, hell, dust Woody Harrison one on one. Hell, dust his ass. I want to see that. You want to see Jack Harlow playing on oh, my mama? <laughs> hey, it's a win for, for Louisville. You gonna have to do it. It's for the a crib. loss for actor turned rappers. That's all I'm gonna say. Rappers turn actors, but what if he does good though? What if he's good? He's I, already good on camera. He already got the world liking him. You know what I'm saying? He's a likable person, bro. What'd you say? Because really... I don't want to hate out loud. Go ahead. I'll say what I'm thinking. <laughs> you, nigga. Go ahead, man. I know. I know. I don't. Seriously, I don't want <laughs> I want to see him actually do it. I, I, I don't want to say don't, don't take the role away from the man. Everybody deserves a check, but uh, nah, no, nah, no. Nah. If it's bad, it's bad. <laughs> I don't think he'll do it justice. That's all. I don't even honestly. The <laughs> the white man. With. I just feel like the the movie itself. Do we need another one? Like that's really how I feel. Like yeah. does it need a reboot? <laughs> but that's I, a movie. I, don't really, yeah. I don't even think yeah. it was that great of a movie. <laughs> Say it again. I think it's so easy to reboot that you can't mess it up. It depends on who they partnered with. Did they give him a bad actor? Like, they need Michael no, B. Jordan. He's the bad actor. Not the, <laughs> bad. I mean, Michael, you don't know that. that. You don't know that. You don't know that. You don't know bad, that. Bad. This this is his first, like bro, for his first acting debut, he got it's like it's like yo, Lil Yachty. He fucked up how high. Exactly. But, that's what but I'm saying. Lil Yachty's get, not as good as an actor. He's not as good as an on-screen personality as Jack Harlow, bro. Are we are we serious? Like that nigga. What Jack I'm Harlow saying is, is bro. The nigga yeah. next to him has got to be uh, what's Denzel's son's name? I can't, I don't want to call oh, him shit. Denzel's son, but it's got to be uh, somebody of that caliber, bro. He's gonna need a Sophie, would, it would help, it would help the movie, it would help the movie, but he can still do a good job with a terrible. But what I'm it's saying is, the there's out. white boy, go ahead. You know who need to be uh, Wesley Stipes in that movie? Be Sydney, Sydney Dean is the nigga, the new nigga that's in Bel Air. Playing Carlton. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the so new nigga know, playing Carlton? I have no idea. I'm finna pull it up. I got y'all. Yo, I love that nigga. Yo, that <laughs> nigga be looking. Nigga Carlton is on drugs, nigga. Nigga Bel Air is the shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey man, man, we gotta get Bel Air. <laughs> it's on Peacock. But you gotta have what? Peacock Premium. No, dog, it's free. It's free to the motherfucker. You watch that shit all night. It's still going on. They release it every Thursday. It's free. It's- I right, bet. Say less. Yeah, I'm finna go watch it, too. Sniffing shit at the beginning of the motherfucking season. First episode, nigga. Call him tooting motherfucking not pie. He's tooting Xanax and shit. <laughs> you funny as hell. Austin. That still need to be playing Sydney D. Man, you supposed what? to just pull up a picture, man. You about to pull up <laughs> a whole <laughs> clip, bro. I just needed to see the new one. Think about to play the whole episode. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> oh, bro. <laughs> but this is and a nigga. Be mad when we get copywritten. <laughs> hey, fuck it. It's only twenty seconds. But that ain't Carlton. That's Will. Oh. That's Will? That's Will? Yeah. That's Will. Is Carlton in here? And this Carlton? That's him, yeah. Black ass nigga. Think. African. You know you're African. This nigga's got to be African. Man, that <laughs> man, European. This nigga. Yeah, yeah, European, African. That just means he's <laughs> <laughs> Nah, I was thinking about... Hey, they be killing me calling Giannis the Greek freak. Nigga, you... Nigga, how many African <laughs> can <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> he 
he's uh, he's Greek freak. This bitch ain't no Greek. <laughs> this is bro. But no, the white boy, the white boy that need to play the dude is the guy from Baby Driver. I like no, you're talking but... about, you talk about the driver? Yeah, the white boy that was the driver and baby driver, nah, bro. bro. That's they go, the dude. They go, they go try to make it funny, bro. bro ain't funny. He's funny. It's dry. Not the, it's dry. See, not it's dry. in that movie. No, no, no. Y'all bugging. I'm, if not I'm, him, the one that plays the drums and Whiplash, he's he's also in Whiplash. He's also in... Damn, what's that fat, fat face white boy name, bro? He funny as hell, though. <laughs> He in the movie with Jonah Hill and they trying to get guns from Iraq to America or something like that. Uh, oh, I know his time. I don't know his name though. He is, I don't know his name. Uh, talking about not man. Jonah Hill, but the other nigga. Yeah, the other nigga. Now he would have did it. Now tell me he wouldn't have did that thing. He's a, he's a he's a good actor, bro. But you gotta have the basketball ability to it. And this is what I'm saying. Jack Harlow comes from the mean streets of Howard. Of what? <laughs> the, mean, mean street, the mean streets of what? The mean streets, bro. This you can't say Jack people. Harlow and came from and mean streets in the same city. <laughs> like, yeah. There's mean a lot of things wrong in this city. I'm dead. You know, I, I don't think Jack Harlow would be a bad person to put in there, especially because they making a reboot and he's trendy. Like, that's really all it is. Like he's That's a, he's a trendy is. white guy right now, and, and, so and he him was in, in the Nas NBA X? celebrity game. <laughs> no, if they did, did not play Wesley Snipes, I have a, yeah, that Jack Harlow and Lil Nas X. That would break the internet, bro. <laughs> and white man can't jump. You're oh little look at her face. <laughs> they would oh people would hate that. People would oh absolutely hate that. Oh my god, bro. Hey, hey, Oh I can't God. see my own camera when uh when he doing the uh when he got his screen on. Oh, my fault, my fault, my fault. No, no, you good, you good. But man, I'd be damned if I'm gonna watch anything that got Jack Harlow and Lil Live Exit. Uh. <laughs> how are you gonna find the audience for that bullshit? What do you mean? I was just t- uh, I was just telling these news. The top five. What? Jack Harlow, Live X? Yes. Watch that shit. <laughs> hell no. What the hell? Can y'all, man, if you don't cut off these all star game highlights, man, <laughs> and put us back on regular screen, bro. Because Jack, right. hey, just because Joe was playing his hardest out that motherfucker. <laughs> he wanted to be the MVP so bad. Yeah, that thirsty. nigga Billy Hope. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. I don't know. Nikki played Billy Ho than Jack Harlow. I just named two white dudes that could easily do it, and y'all just shot them both down. So I don't know I what don't else. No, it's not. It's not an easy thing. Like he said, is it? Do we even need reboot? If it's already not going to be a good movie, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, I don't think he could. I don't think he's going to do a bad job. And if he does a good job, he's on. He's say on. Say it again. I'll- I was just laughing because the nigga said it's already going to be a bad movie. <laughs> <laughs> That's what because saying. it wasn't that great of a movie to begin with. Like, it's decent. You wouldn't no. name... I have never heard anybody say that White Man Can't Jump is their favorite movie. I w- I've never heard that. How old are you? I'm 23. Okay. You didn't know. When that movie came out, I was in middle school. I was in Seventh grade, and I'm gonna tell you, the cats that went to see it were the coolest niggas in school for a month. I'm dead. <laughs> because they that knew went to where? Came out. I'm telling you, that movie was fire. Dwayne Wayne's part, when he sit up there talking about we go and see it, that shit was the funniest shit out right there, nigga. There wasn't no day day. There wasn't still Mike Gaps coming out every week with shit. On the internet, like I always did. Yeah, that shit was the funniest shit. <laughs> we going with this. We going with this. We going with this. <laughs> but see, that's the thing, though. That's what I don't. I, I just feel like that movie is not going to translate the same way to our generation that it did to y'all. 
I just feel like it's not going it's not going to be the same. It can. Because but see, go ahead. No. Because right. it was like you said you was in middle school when it came out. So that's going that the movie the movie having a reboot is really nostalgic to y'all. Y'all don't care about no Jack Harlow. <laughs> So like it, that's why I feel like it's not gonna, it doesn't need it. Like if you're not gonna put somebody in it that's gonna, that, that is nostalgic to the people that the movie is nostalgic to, then it's not gonna really work because like y'all the ones who are gonna see that for real. Like we don't really care about it because it's, we got Friday. Like we don't, we don't care about white man can't jump. I can't even lie to you. Like, Friday is probably one of the fa- our funniest movies of our generation. Like <laughs> that came yeah, out in the time for us to watch it. Like it, right. I don't think it's that great. Would you say, Aunt? Say it again. I mean, she's completely right. I mean, the movie was great, but not for y'all generation. And like he's saying, to reboot it, that's what where your target audience is at. Like I'm that's not going to go see talk about it. <laughs> I'm gonna see it. That shit. I mean, I'm not gonna go see it. I'm not gonna do it. Yeah. I'm gonna call my peacock. Let me ask you this, Lelo. Let me ask you this, Lelo, nigga. Lelo, one shit. more time. Oh <laughs> me, nigga. Oh me. Word ah. to my mother. No, I'm just playing. My bad, Lelo. Lilo. It, it's funny because you mess up all the names, bro. Like, you got to understand, like, right before, this is for some uh, for some of y'all artists, if y'all watching, y'all listening and shit like that. Right before y'all go on, bro, this nigga asked me your name, pronunciation, like, three, four, five times, bro. Until he get it right, though. He's dedicated, though. So, next time y'all see this nigga, dap him up properly. Anyways, go ahead. <laughs> bro, quit exposing me, bro. Anywho. <laughs> nigga said, his name is WXRT Hellcat. What? Hold on. It's what? <laughs> nigga, say it again. <laughs> Little Zan Princess. What? <laughs> Niggas, it, and it's all what y'all's you, fault, though. You said what? Yeah, what did what'd your man J. Cole do? Oh, he didn't do nothing um, crazy. He was just talking about subliminals. He did nothing recently. That was too wild. Wow. Mm-hmm. You were saying you're supposed to be bringing up J. Cole when we got off subject. Well, we but, talked uh, about the subliminal stuff. That's what it was about. And you said ain't oh, nobody ever dropped names. I mean, uh, I mean, that's what he was saying. He's, he's kind of right, man. It wasn't. It, it was an award. It was a, a badge of honor if you stepped out there and said cast names back in the day. It wasn't niggas. Niggas didn't wasn't saying cast names like they say they was. I don't. I but, don't think so. I don't let think me ask. So. What's better or not? What's better? All right, is like Mike one and two that big of a difference? Yes. <laughs> yeah, every single one's different. All right, what yeah. about like Mike three? Did y'all see like Mike three? Yeah. I did not. <laughs> is there a three? Or is there only is two that, of them? Is that my? Is that what my nigga Triple J? Back to the streets or whatever? Back to the streets. That's the third one. Yeah, my nigga Triple J. Yeah, I mean the, the quality ain't maybe as good as far as like it being like a household <laughs> movie, but they all different. I like them. Say it again. Like Mike, the movie with, uh, was it Romeo first or Bow Wow? It was Bow Wow. With Bow Wow. Yes, Bow Wow makes it to the NBA because he got on Michael Jordan's sneakers. I'm His Congress. <laughs> yeah, we all do talk about this shit here. No, what I'm saying is, you can. Why are we talking about Mike, Mike, they got my grown ass. They got 47 years old. They got my no, grown no. ass, man. I was gonna compare Bro, like Mike man. to white like white man can't jump, but fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hey, yell up. Yeah, yell out my name when you're done talking about like Mike. I'm gonna roll my blood. Whatever. <laughs> like, I, I, do we got do we got oh let's uh let's talk about this, right? So we recently uh next time got to see a um a potential venue. And it's potentially going to be the nicest place we've ever been associated with. Tell us a little bit about what you saw next time. It's a big ass venue with a whole lot of space and a whole lot of opportunity. And we can afford it. Six floor building. Yeah, it's on the sixth floor of a building. So you can see the whole city of Louisville from it. So we need a title. And we just got to make sure we pack it out. Like, we got plenty of opportunity to pack it out, but that's the only thing. Like, 
making sure it's full of folks. That's why I said we need to put. I, 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 I know you said we need less artists, Unc, but listen, we are gonna need about fifty of them. I said. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I said forty for real. I said 30, 40 artists, and they looked at me. They looked, at, they looked at me like I was, I was so serious. Uh, forty, then. I, huh? I said you can afford it, but you can't afford it. Now we already went through the business. We can. I swear we can. It's just <laughs> we got so much room for opportunity. <laughs> Forty motherfuckers with the business model. No, you can't afford it. <laughs> no, look, uh, it's about the margins, Unc. It's about the margins. <laughs> do oh, we vote. Oh shit, man. All right, Layla. Hold on, uh, uh, be quiet. Well, we can't hear you. We you just talking, we can't hear you. So you gotta slow down. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is crying. Hold on, uh, hold on, uh, wait. All right, go. Lilo, you agree with me. Have you ever seen anywhere where there has been 15 dope rappers in the same building? No. <laughs> no. Never be the first. Ball game over. There's no need for you to have 15 niggas perform. You can have 20, 15 to 20. You're not gonna find that many rappers that are any good. I mean, I've been I've seen award shows that haven't had 15 good artists on this shit. So how are you gonna you gonna sit here and put on performance with that many rappers? You're gonna have too many garbage acts. I don't care unless y'all are out there for a fucking whole festival or whole weekend. You can't afford it. If the way y'all do these these performances and the performance scales these days with can't pay the rhyme and all of that right there, you just can't afford it. You gotta go back to the to the business model, bro. Cause Let me no, ask you this no. question. Uh, 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 look, listen. Look, look, listen, look, listen, look, listen, listen. Can you look. you focus for me? Look at me. Look at me for a second. Or look at the camp <laughs> phone. This is the difference between this venue and the other venue. And it's not the price. The price is the same. We got a bigger capacity. It's a bitch big. And we allow to have the venue for a longer amount of time. For the same price. Great. So no more artists. It so we were saying so, dope. it's about huh? it's dope to see that many artists. Why do you need that many artists? Why do you need more artists than you had last time? I was mad. More. <laughs> Uh, he said you need more twice as many. You're welcome. <laughs> How do you need more. twice as many? If we still dealing with the same scenario though. You still dealing with the cat show up, the amount of time that they showing up with the people that they bring in, it's still gonna be the same scenario. Adding more people to it ain't gonna fucking change that scenario. I think the venue I can't. I can't say nothing. I don't know. Lilo, <laughs> do you feel like it's worth ten dollars to go to one of our events? It's definitely worth ten dollars. I think it's worth more than ten dollars. We're going. I want to charge more than ten dollars. I want to sign. I want to. Uh, to be real with you, this is what I said when I left the building. I said <laughs> I want twice as many artists and twice the admission fee. It is nice. It is nice. You said what? I'm only halfway with you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'll take halfway. I'll take halfway. We wasn't nowhere last time. We wasn't nowhere last time. Progress. Oh, God. He is. Talk about this motherfucking 40 artists and twice the amount of artists, nigga, you ain't never seen that many good rappers in one building. So why are you going to intentionally put bad rappers up there? It's not it's about intentionally. You don't know they bad until they hear their music, but guess what? They got to figure out that they bad. Up there. <laughs> you should have heard that shit before you put them up there. I usually yeah. do. I usually do. Yeah. I feel like, I feel like 
So if I, if we so this is something we also planning, right? We got a we plan on a hoop tournament like a classic, like a dirt bowl type type of situation. So are we is it is it fucked up on us if a nigga pay for his team to sign up, you know what I'm saying, and they all garbage? Like does that make us look bad? Are we fucked up for that? They signed up, they they did their thing, they just suck. Is that the same thing? If we got 40 teams, you know what I'm saying? We run a tournament all weekend. You wanna know why? Because music is subjective. That's true. Com- competition is not. When you have a score, you can score, and you can win or you can lose. That's different from this. This is all opinion. The best rappers in the world don't make no money, while the worst rappers do. That's why it's subjective. We're talking about, we're talking about something totally different. Basketball, um, what they call it, um, um, uh, what they call it? sports has a, uh, I don't want to say hierarchy, but a, uh, is it meritocracy? Is it where, where you know a defined result? Yeah. Hey, me and Lilo got degrees and they know what that word was for a second. <laughs> sure does. I think Don't you're worry. right though. Meritocracy's merit it has merit. It has like something like something tangible, like like you said, a score. I was gonna say it was like a, a metric system. That's what I was gonna say. But I, I think, think y'all way it better. Yeah, <laughs> I had the same definition. It's, it's, it's the same point. We all here. We all here. <laughs> and what I'm saying is, when you dealing with sports, there's a defined, there's a defined result. Mm-hmm. There's never no. I mean, we got verses now, and there still isn't a defined result. <laughs> yeah. Bone won the the, the the battle with uh, Three Six Mafia. Three Six Mafia wiped the floor with them. them. But I, you know you'll find cats. So it, it, it's still subjective when you when you're dealing with music. So you can't put that that that, that sports and music when you talk about that can't be it, it can't be um, you know correlated Man. together. But that's how we win, though. Is like by the time they get on stage, it could be subjective. It can be good, bad, mediocre, in the middle. It, you know what I'm saying? By that point. We've already done what we needed to do. We just provide the platform. Like it's like that's why I compared it to the basketball thing. We just providing the court. Who gonna play? Who gonna win? Is gonna win. That ain't got. That's out of my hands. I'm just providing the 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 arena. You know what I'm saying? I feel you. I feel you. If that's your game, I, I feel you. But that is real hard to define when people want to be entertained when they show up. That's true. I feel you know that. What I'm if you if you do that and can't say what well, a show is whack. Well, then all the entertainment is going to be whack. That's true. And you base yourself off of whack-ass artists that you knew was whack before you put them on the stage. <laughs> hey, but I feel like the platform hey, would be uh, ruined, though, if I told niggas they was whack and I told them that they can't get on stage. I you say, like it <sighs> say it again. Say it again. You knew 35 of them niggas was garbage when you put them on stage. So it's your Ali Entertainment is garbage. So that's what I'm saying. That's why I keep saying to y'all, get your own audience. Get Ali Entertainment. Get your own audience. Then people come to see the art, the rappers. Fuck bringing everybody together for the fucking rappers. The rappers going to bring their people and their people going to leave with them when they go. Ali and the people need to show up to watch your fucking show. They watch your show. These people who are performing are here because I deemed that they were good enough to present to y'all. That's what I did. I did parties places where uh, nigga here, boom. We got nigga, this shit is, is, is basically set up to where everybody came to see us. They knew our name, they knew much noise entertainment. They knew that this shit was was have five parties. Whenever these niggas have a party, it's a line to get in that motherfucker. And you got to fucking fight. Whether it was a rapping party or it was just a fucking ass-shaking contest or whatever, people came to see because they knew our name. They they knew the cats that was handing out the flyers. They knew the routine. They knew that, the, you know what I'm saying, well, y'all don't have to do flyers, but y'all got social media. They knew the, the cat that they going to and getting this off of the internet and saying, okay, does this cat know where, where the spot be at? I'm going to get it from there. Y'all have to get your own audience, a 
and then them rappers can perform to the, your audience. I'm done with that. That y'all, that is not. We've had doing. this conversation a thousand times. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm sorry. It's my fault, bro. It's my and fault. And you made it happen again. <laughs> it's but... my fault. <laughs> listen, listen though, listen though. I'm, I'm gonna put something new to it. We already talked about it, but I'm gonna ask Unc this: What would you do if a questionably Caucasian person said? The N word on stage. I knew. I, I was gonna ask you. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do? You at the show, right? And like, you know, what I'm saying it just passed you, right? You know, singing this song, y'all saying, and it just passed you. But then, like, as we talking about and recollecting at the end, we like, did bro, did that? Yeah, actually, yeah. Hold on, no. Nah. Am I a spectator or is it my show? Both. Both. If I'm a spectator, I ain't doing shit. I mean, I don't give a fuck. Somebody gonna kick his ass, whether or not, you know. I mean, ain't nothing I can do about this shit if I'm just there and I'm just watching the show. If it's my show, then he, I mean, if I heard it at the time, it, it would be even funnier. But, you know, I mean, I mean, you know, he can handle. I mean, seriously, but, I mean, I've never seen that. So, I mean, I couldn't, I, I've never seen that. Before in my life, but if I was a spectator, I really wouldn't do shit. I mean, ain't nothing I could do. I ain't gonna fuck with it. Right? Ain't no telling. Had the most gangster niggas in town behind him. Shit, I don't know. Shit, I don't understand how y'all letting it go past. But I, I just wouldn't. I mean, if it was my show now, oh yeah, he'd be black balls and all kind of shit. Like, no, yeah. Don't let me find out at the time. If I was sitting, if I was there and I witnessed it then, yeah, I would handle it. But if it was just some shit somebody told me about later on... Can he, can he sign up for the next performance? Huh? Can he sign up for the next performance? Never. <laughs> Boom! Bing bong! Bing bong! Yeah. We see these dogs in your front yard! It's <laughs> going hard, nigga! Yeah! Nigga, yeah. <laughs> No, nah, but yeah, seriously though, like if anybody was there and understands what the fuck we even talking about, I'm sorry. <laughs> Not on behalf of this nigga, but just on the behalf that it happened. But like it wasn't like let me just put it this way, it wasn't a thing at the show. Like it wasn't like a show stopper. It was like I don't think anybody really even listened to bruh. You know what I'm saying? So but But what you don't want to do though is put him in a situation in, in a worse situation where somebody is paying attention to him. Even if that's your man, if that's your man, you need to go and sit down because, bro, you might take that, you might do that shit again where some niggas might listen to you. Yeah. And you might be, <laughs> I mean, if that's your man, I don't know what, what you know what I'm saying? I, all the people. I don't really, I'm not saying I know the artist. He's performed at a few of our shows, so I know, like, the name of the artist. I can put a face in the name. But I know he's not my artist. You know what I'm saying? He's not like somebody I'm personally cool with. It's just like, so so does it make would it make it better if he brought another friend or artist and he was black? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's the case, right? That 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 just so happens to be the case. Okay, I'm glad you said that because that he had a, he has a he has a black friend, but they yeah, are the same no. type of time. It's because that sucker ass nigga standing on stage with him and standing up here with that nigga called him a nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking coon. <laughs> <laughs> How do you even allow that as a black man? That's fucked up. That's his brother. <laughs> nah, right, bro. Man, right or wrong. Right or wrong, bro. Nah. <laughs> What'd you say? Next oh. <laughs> anything? I mean, is he like kind of be black? I, I I don't. I'm gonna send you a picture of him. Uh, this is what I'm gonna do next time. Uh, I'm gonna screenshot something. I'm gonna send it to you. Send it to Aunt real quick. Oh man, you can just tell me. I, just tell me. Uh, I, want white. You, I want you. I want you to. I want you to see for yourself. He white. White. He's a white man. <laughs> He's white. white boy. He's a white, white man. Boy. If he's mixed with something that's like white and 
uh what's that word that these uh middle uh what's that p word that kim kardashian call herself uh uh what's the p word Somebody armenian <laughs> uh, my bad and that's don't even start with a p armenian hey armenian. <laughs> look i just sent you the picture bro Damn, what? that's europe armenians in europe <laughs> They still Europeans. I don't give a fuck if they got black hair. Maybe Spanish. Maybe. I'm not saying it. Say I'm it. not saying it's right, guys. I'm not. If I'm you not. gotta question it, he can't say it. That's how if I feel. It, it, exactly. That's Simple that's as that. True. That's very true. But he <laughs> said it without question, though. So that's what I'm saying. Like, who are we? Like, you know. <laughs> He'd be like, he be- <laughs> So so strongly that he felt like the man deserved to be able to say. It. He's like, man, he's like, he's like, come on, oh, no, <laughs> <laughs> somebody, man, if that white boy would have ever said nigga any place I've ever been, he would have got beat up. I don't, oh. <laughs> it brings me to a point of where I wanted to, uh, uh, something I wanted to bring up. Did y'all see the nigga? who just slapped the hell out of that white man online. And it was, it was said, y'all called him a nigga in the restaurant, and he yes. just punched him, <laughs> slapped him down. That's yeah. that white boy. That's him right there. Slapped him down. <laughs> oh, it was an old <laughs> white man. Yes. It was a real old white man. He just kept beating the- <laughs> He's slapping the shit out of his ass, too. Miss one <laughs> slap. Blended. That's exact yeah. That, that right there you go. That's what he should get there if he said nigga. That boy, I there, just though. my problem was this, uh, and excuse me, but the capitalist in me was trumped by the uh the nigga in me, <laughs> the black man in me. Cause I was he pulled up with the boy say some shit, he start a whole where everybody in there beat him down and you He's gonna be standing in front of the judge because he got beat to death. I told the group because the group was like never let him perform again. I said if he try to sign up again, tell him if we hear him say it again, we're gonna cut him off mid performance. Like give him at least one warning because his brother. He don't perform again, guys. He don't perform again. He black ball. <laughs> <laughs> you're lucky he don't get his ass whooped all right man up. so i guess we're gonna have 39 artists come <laughs> right <laughs> well down. actually 38 because he brings his brother raps too so now we got 38 his artists brother's cool he can say nigga he ain't got nothing, <laughs> to, do with him. Him. <laughs> ain't got nothing to do with him it's not you brother. yeah his brother and his whole crew gotta go Cause these puss ass niggas who hang with him, let him say nigga in front of them in his raps and all of that shit. They still endorse the nigga. Fuck that nigga. Fuck him and his whole crew. Nigga, there's enough wannabe rappers in the world. You ain't got to fucking find none. <laughs> I mean, they, 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 it's not hard to find. I'm sitting at a motherfucking, uh, where the fuck am I at, actually? <laughs> I don't know. You tell us. Uh, <laughs> I'm at a he really got to look out the window to figure out where he at. <laughs> oh, I forgot where I was at. That was it. <laughs> this bitch. You Man, drive for everything. Nigga. I don't see outside this motherfucker. But no, no I'm in the fucking. I'm in White Bike Week in Daytona. Yeah, that's what happened. I bet white fight week at Daytona. You still, you still a pussy ass nigga if you hang with a white, if you let a white boy call you a nigga out here. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. His whole crew needs to be banned because the niggas that roll with his crew that made him cool, them niggas some pussy ass niggas. You heard it here for. First, folks. Well, we yeah, heard no, it from no. Unc first. He's removed. There it is. He's like <laughs> he booted. Like a ball. Ain't no if ands or buts about the it. The weakest link. Goodbye. <laughs> On the serious tip, though, is not because 
other uh, racial thing or, you know, anything like that. It's the fact of you got a business that uh, that you do that you doing. Okay. Anybody from his crew come up there and say some nigga shit and they white. That shit could that shit could 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 snowball into 30, 40 people beating on some, uh, one person. You know, it, it, motherfucker losing their life over that kind of shit. That's what you got to worry about when you put on a vent. Cuz you sit there and say, oh, I just, I just you know, rented this place out. But when a bitch die, yo, you is, you is on the motherfucking indictment. Not when a bitch die. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's enough bitch insurance. Bitch, motherfucker, want to fight for that shit? I went to jail just for fucking kiss for that. Just because you, you had the party. I know niggas who own a strip club. Nigga started shooting outside his strip club. This nigga went to jail for shooting. For attempted murder. Fuck, he go to jail for attempted murder just because he owned a strip club. Uh, you uh, gonna get... See, sometimes the the guess why we don't hang with gangsters. Options. Yeah, I was about to say, sometimes the whack rappers are the safest option, guys. That's why we need these. <laughs> <laughs> for, for all types of genres. We have uh, guitar players. The good we rappers have, come with too much liability. You making it, uh-uh, we good. Man, fuck that shit. Y'all need to get these <laughs> gangsters at the money. Nigga, them niggas pay like a motherfucker to rap. Nigga, they don't give a fuck. Nigga, <laughs> they want to get true. They want to show their gold teeth, and they want to show their motherfucking gold, nigga. Nigga, I don't give a fuck what you say. You can't be scared in this game, nigga. I don't give a shit what y'all what, what you say, whatever. Whatever the fuck happened, happened. I will prevent it by not putting a white boy up there that might say nigga. Now, don't get me wrong. That's different from the, my theory on right. I don't give a <laughs> Don't get me wrong. If a nigga start talking shit, he got beef with another nigga. I'll let both of them niggas perform at the same show before I let a white boy go up there and say nigga. Now that you know, what I'm saying that's different from what I'm talking about. I don't give a fuck about niggas beef and shoot nigga. I, nigga, I'm here to make money. I ain't giving a fuck about none of that shit. I ain't never been scared about that shit. I went, nigga. My one of my first parties was in the hood. Where niggas did not like us. <laughs> I went to jail. My brother went to the goddamn jail and the hospital. Goddamn it. We all was smoking. I don't give a shit about that kind of shit. So, but we ain't gonna be scared to make no motherfucking money. But I am scared to put a white boy up <laughs> and go get me fucked up and get me fucked up over some shit like that. I'm scared of that shit. I'm scared. <laughs> Yeah, don't let that white boy, don't let that white boy perform nowhere at all. At least put him on some. He said nowhere. <laughs> hey, uh, he said don't let him perform nowhere. He can't perform. <laughs> nowhere. Niggas man, look, shit, man. Hey, look. <laughs> you, y'all got white boys in your crew. So even the niggas who say nigga. Gotta watch they gotta watch they step. Cause you never know what these niggas out there do. You know what I'm saying? You get some old gangsta ass nigga that's in the crowd. And that nigga, like, man, fuck that shit, man. The, the clock up there, motherfucker talk about nigga. I'm from Florida. I know that shit wouldn't play. Nigga, clock up there saying, nigga, fuck that shit, man. Fuck that clock. That's all you need. That's all you need. The whole the whole shit fucked up. Damn. You right. We skated by once. Let's not make it a habit, guys. Hey, I've seen them. do we have? It's been all from Florida, nigga. We got two. We've been on it for two hours now, y'all. Do we have any pressing topics before we get out of here? I think I got everything out I needed to say. <laughs> <laughs> Let the white kids say, nigga. The white kids say, nigga. Have you ever heard that song? Yeah. <laughs> I thought niggas was outside. Oh, you good, aren't you? Got any pressing issues you need to ask us young niggas about? No, it was something else I was about to ask you, though, too, though. I think I, was, I asked the one question. I remember, but, uh, I had to get out. But no, I'm, uh, I'm 
I know it was something else, but I can't remember what it is right now. So I'm uh, I reserve it. I know I remember that shit. But I remember, I remember I meant to text you the other day, and I didn't fucking uh, and I didn't text you. I can't remember what it was. It was something I wanted to uh, holler at you about. Was it about music? Young nigga shit. But I remember. All I do is sit in this motherfucker. I'm being in this truck all motherfucking week. So I know goddamn well I can come across it. <laughs> yeah. The real question is... Dang. Uh, We're going to say this for next week, but... <laughs> uh. How's my pops got more views than me? <laughs> <That's> a... <laughs> yeah. What would you do if your even... parents send you a link and he already got more views than you? <laughs> In like three days, she's got more views than me than like most of oh, my videos. Like, damn, <laughs> damn. Hey, we was like, yeah. I need a feature. <laughs> yeah, no, for real. Yeah, for real talk. I need, yeah, I need a link. He's lying. No, no he real. got like. Almost a thousand views in like three, four days. <laughs> <laughs> that shit's wild, bro. The nigga sent it to me. I was like, okay, the bars, you know what I'm saying? So I'm looking through the comments and shit like that. I was like, wait, hold on. How many how many did it say? How many views, <laughs> nigga? Damn. Nigga, niggas is running this shit Man. back. It was a fucking legend. <laughs> <laughs> it was a fucking legend. Le- I can tell you that your problem was a fucking legend. This nigga was a fucking wordsmith with the wordplay. And the legend was born. Well, and the legend was born. <laughs> y'all niggas don't have no motherfucking uh, y'all niggas don't have no motherfucking uh morals when it comes to the wordplay no more. Y'all niggas just go by motherfucking rhyme patterns. <laughs> so that, hey, he talking to, to the wrong ones, Lilo. <laughs> Not us. <laughs> he talking y'all, to the wrong ones, Lilo. I'm you better you, y'all. Y'all niggas think the word, the rhyme pattern, supersedes the wordplay. Yeah. And that's something totally different. And that's nuance about shit. And that's why I don't think y'all niggas. That's why I don't think Kendrick Lamar is should be in. I don't think he should be in even the top twenty right now. Damn. Because the boy got patterns, but the actual wordplay where we putting this together to make this all make sense and all of that, I don't see it being there. Yeah, now I came up. Oh. I don't know I if I agree with that one. Kendrick, Kendrick's kind of hard. We'll yeah. have to see. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't got enough time. <laughs> <laughs> I got class. We got we to start it off with that one next time, man. Yeah. Jesus yeah. Christ. <laughs> have a whole episode. Write that down. <laughs> oh, Kendrick Lamar debate. And I'm a matter of fact, y'all let me know when y'all want to have it. And I'm gonna bring my I'm gonna bring my facts and my bars with me for my old school cast. And I'm gonna I wanna know how hey, we gonna put, I wanna know next time I see y'all where are we gonna put Kendrick Lamar and J. Cole in the top ten all time. And we got all week. And and, and Lilo, <laughs> I want you here too, because you was looking at me real you looking like <laughs> Kendrick in it. Kendrick is the man. I want to. I want. I want to hear bars. I want to hear. I want to hear what these bars is that put him in the top ten. Because I got a top ten. I've, I've been around here. I can pull the top ten out and change. I can give you three top tens and leave Kendrick Lamar out. I want to know. I, J Cole. I ain't gonna lie. I came around with J Cole with the dreads. I always say J Cole with the dreads. When the nigga got the dreads, the nigga got good. The nigga was off the chain then. Hey, I don't want you monkey mouth motherfuckers sitting on my throne again. Look, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking see- to you. Next episode, that's what next episode going to be. How old niggas, you, you convinced me to put Kendrick Lamar and J. Cole in the top 10. 
I'll take Kendra. You take Cole. Let's go. Like, easy. I, 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 I'm so glad it's you gave easy. me Cole. And, and I'm going to throw you a young nigga in there, too. I'm going to throw uh, a young man by the name of Bishop Naru. He's out in New York. Bruh's bruh's oh, no, icy. We, bruh's icy. We, ain't got, we ain't got enough time for you to put nobody else in there. Hey, thank y'all so much for tuning in Listen, to this man. episode of the podcast. Hey, shout out to Always Look Camera, man. Shout out to Ollie Entertainment. March 26th, March Madness, nigga. We're going crazy. Balling like it's March Madness, man. We're going out, we're going out with a bang. Shout uh, out to the contrarian. Shout out to Lilo. Low from the go, man. Low right. from the go. Y'all be gonna let that shit more. blow. If you didn't, got a clue. Now you gotta know. You said what? Me to us, to us lady. How uh, you doing? Yeah, this is uh this is Sha. She uh she does a lot of work behind the scenes. You know what I'm saying? So she, uh, she <laughs> I like how you honest. said that, Playboy. <laughs> I like how you <laughs> said that, Playboy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, behind the you know, scenes, behind the <laughs> scenes, behind the scenes. Oh my goodness! Behind <laughs> the scenes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I be, you know what I'm saying? We be working together on a lot of shit. Uh, but anyways, <laughs> anyways, y'all, it has been the podcast. This has been a great episode. I appreciate everybody for coming out, man. I'm kicking everybody out, though. Y'all ain't got to go home, but you know. Peace. Hurt, you got all the angles.